The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent, amazing stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <sighs> Woo! Sell out crowd, Jeremy. I know. Yeah. I bring him in. Yeah, that's uh, 100% true. I really don't have anything to say, so I'm just going to tell you to fuck right off. That's no, okay. That's I uh, mean, right off. Right off? Yeah, right off the bat, fuck right off. Okay. No, don't wait a go couple fuck, minutes. Go fuck a bat oh. is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Fuck right off the bat. <laughs> so thin in first? I'd like to fuck you up with a bat. <laughs> okay. Fine. This is just stream of consciousness. It's just riffing. Okay. That's fair. God, I want to beat you with a fucking baseball bat. <laughs> okay. Hard. All right. And uh, another great stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Funniest Person in Wichita. I'm not even going to call you the wreck. Nope. Just Derek Alders. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Scotty. Yo. Smell my finger. No. Come, come here. Just, <laughs> no. just a whiff. No. Just a little whiff. Tell no. me what it smells like. No. I don't trust you. I that bet is it's nothing good. <laughs> That is my favorite thing to do. Sure. It doesn't matter who it's to. Yeah. Because no one will ever smell it. And if they do, you've met a friend. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. For life. For life. Or, or a sick son of a bitch. <laughs> you know not to be friends with that. If they're just like, oh. I'll do that shit to my wife. I'll be like, honey, smell my finger. Oh, get the fuck away from me. Oh, man. I'm surprised she wouldn't want to. No. 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 Doesn't like she, her own brand. She seems like a finger smell. <laughs> I'll be honest. She seems like a finger smeller. Yeah. Yeah. She does. She's yeah, married to you. I'm like, you got COVID. You can't even smell yeah. anymore. Digits, but, we used to call her. Yeah. Digits. Ah, nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah in all seriousness, uh, Derek's uh, like one of the most like, disgusting people in the world. What are you talking about? You're, I shower. No, I know you shower. You smelled his wrist? Smell his wrist. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, clean. I don't want to They're smell clean. your wrist. No, Look it's at not. this iPhone bling I got. It's, may, may, maybe, it's just, maybe it's just whenever you fart, it's, it's awful. Like one really? of the oh god, one of the worst things you've ever done is uh, we we the studio is in a basement, and you have to go upstairs to leave. And one night we got done with the show, and we were going walking upstairs, and Derek basically boxed me out and farted on his way up the goddamn stairs. Yeah, Jeremy got the board. <laughs> yeah, Here, here's the thing: is that uh, why does that surprise you? That fart came out of his asshole <laughs> it's supposed yeah. to smell bad not, that's not the sign of a dirty person stinky fingers kind of <laughs> is stink wrists fuck yeah that's how he tests to see how bad it's gonna smell before it comes out though what huh <laughs> you lost us here Scotty. all right fine at least my farts smell like ass your farts smell <laughs> weird they smell like latex <laughs> <laughs> fuck you up with a bat <laughs> okay anyways Welcome to the show. Uh, if this is the very first time you listen to a full episode, welcome. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. And some appropriate jokes, too. Yeah, that's you true. Know, a little dad joke here and there. Sure. That, knock, right. knocks. Whatever. <laughs> uh, absolutely. What do you get when you cross? <laughs> I don't know. Cross what? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Just Nobody kidding. crosses Jesus fucking Christ. That's right. He's a badass. He'll hang you on a cross. <laughs> right. <laughs> he, he brought his own cross. That's why you don't cross him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Bill Hicks had one of my favorite lines about that, about how they always keep saying, he's coming, he's coming back, he's coming back, and they all wear their crosses. Don't you think the last thing he well, he's going to want to see when he comes back <laughs> is another fucking cross? Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the funniest memes I've ever seen was related to that. Was it was a uh, nail gun company uh-huh. that was advertising for their nail guns, yeah. and there's a picture of of Jesus running away from the cross, and it just says, "Use this brand, and it won't happen." Loved it. Okay, Fine. I don't know why you hate Jesus. I don't. I love Jesus. Huh. Anyways, <laughs> this well, that's is... what this show is all about. Really, how much we love Jesus. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Welcome we're to gonna, God talks. We're going to be talking about the Lord. <laughs> God talk and horse talk all at the same time. 
Well, he was in the stable. It's true. Mm -hmm. um, this is also... He was, <laughs> he was literally born in a barn. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is Both all, of them. <laughs> never closes the door, Jesus. Fuck. This is also an adult podcast, if you <clears throat> haven't already figured that out, where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, welcome to all the new listeners, though. We appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff on the docket, as, uh, as per usual. Uh, we have some fun sports, fun thing that happened. We've got bad advice with Jeremy, all the overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, and a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. So strap in. Uh, but And strap on. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's Derek's favorite. Peggy. Yeah, the old Bosnian seesaw. <laughs> I, like to, I like to get that going. I was just getting ready to say, this is your friendly reminder. Make sure that uh, you delete your Google search history. That would be a smart idea after last week's episode. Uh, some guy commented that he did that at work. <laughs> he Googled them all and he realized he was at work on the work computer, on like the work Wi-Fi or something. And that was fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> your job probably thanks you anyways. Uh, but before we get on to um, the gist of the show, we're going to tell everybody. He said gist. I did say gist. Um, but we're going to tell everybody what happened to us over the last week. Uh, we call it our week, week recap. Um, I tell you what, uh, you actually did something fun. I didn't. So I'm going to go first. Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't do a hell of a lot. Uh, I, uh, I unfortunately had a funeral I had to go to. So, uh, that was on a Saturday and the rest of my weekend was fucking wrecked. Um, but, speaking uh, of the wreck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but I did go to Stearman. Uh, I got to go back to that place. It's a, it's a kind of a famous bar in our area. It's like an airport. Oh, the bar. landing strip yep. place. Yeah. Yep. I used uh, to date a chick that had one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She doesn't have any more. I'm not dating her anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I just, I just figured. Yeah, you know. my wife would be pissed if I was still dating. <laughs> sure would. She would not be happy. I, I don't know. They got this thing called Polly. You should talk to her about it. Polly, what's that? I apparently you have multiple partners. Oh, see, that was just a bitch you kept in your pocket whenever I was growing up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that uh, that wop that wop in your pocket. Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, what? We talking Italian? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> For God's sake, I think crime families listen to us, Scotty. They do. Uh, but no, we're talking about the wet-ass pussy you keep in your pocket. Um, but no, it's it's a really fun place. I like to place. think now that Cardi B was singing about Italians. Like, that's actually <laughs> a hate. It's a, she's it's waterboarding Italians speech, yeah. is what she's doing. <laughs> that's some wet. That's some wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's a really cool bar. It's a, it is a landing strip, like smaller airplanes uh, come in and land and take off and like World War II, I think era. Yeah, I was going to say they got a lot of uh, old war planes yep. and stuff. Pro prop planes, though. It's all jet. Yep. Or no jets, right? No. Gotcha. No. Got paper planes? Paper planes, too. That's my favorite. <sighs> yep. yep. MIA? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love that song. Yep. Um, but, uh, there was that, that happened. We, and I, I it, it's just a good atmosphere to go and, and kind of have a couple of beers and, you know, eat a, yeah. Cause I like burger. to think about flying after I get drunk. Was, yeah. Sure. Let me hop in the plane and go for a quick spin. And that's the only time that I've ever thought I could pilot a plane is after a few beers. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, Let me I, have pilot, I can fly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I build airplanes. I gotta be able to fucking fly them. Right. Um, but no, I, I, I can't by the way. You probably could. You could figure it out. I you're, could. You're a smart guy, Jeremy. You're goddamn right I am. <laughs> Way smarter than you've ever been. That's true. Um, and then uh, other than that, man, I I really didn't do a lot more than that. I, I drank a lot of alcohol, and so now drinking water. So that was my week. How about uh, Derek? What'd you do? Uh, you want to go to me first? Because uh -uh. he had, like, the most eventful weekend, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Jeremy. Yeah, go, Jeremy. I, I thought we were, we were, like, putting him off to the end. Because he's the crescendo. No, I put he's, the Christ the in high crescendo. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> I put the WAP in Jesus. <laughs> 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 All right. Wasn't it Italians who killed him? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. At least so the Romans, yeah. I think it was the Gambino crime family. It probably yeah, was. Yeah. That was a hit. That was a professional hit. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it was. Uh, fine, yeah, Jeremy. Uh, Jesus sleeps with the fishes. It. That's why his symbol <laughs> is a fish. fish. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Seven loaves and two fishes. He's so quick. <laughs> uh, oh, God, that's we're going. why he changed that shit into wine, so that hopefully they'd get all drunk and drink <laughs> it up before he could so he could breathe. Exactly. Right. It's like a goddamn David Blaine is what he was. Mm -hmm. You ever wonder if that miracle was just mislabeled jars? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I swear to God, it used to be water. 
<laughs> no. What okay. if they just thought he was arrogant or like that guy fucking thinks he walks on water? <laughs> Harlan Williams one time asked if you think he could walk on bottled water. <laughs> Would he just fall down everywhere? I think my favorite thing I ever heard him ask is if you if he goes, you guys ever think rhinos are just a bunch of white trash unicorns? <laughs> I like good. him. I, do I fucking love him. Yeah, but what was uh, what was your week like over there, Jeremy? I had some friends come in from out of town. Uh, a guy I used to work with. Uh, Kevin was his name, and uh, it still is his name, though, right? Nope, nope, nope. He changed it, and I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, uh, he Bingo. wasn't even supposed Bingo's to make his contact. Name yes. His name, yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Derek just has that, you know, that capability of reading your mind. It's amazing. I know sticks, dude. and now Bingo. Dude's on witness protection. Speaking of watch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so anyhow, uh, he came into town. I haven't seen the guy in 12 years, probably. Wow. And he's one of those guys where we could, I, I really hadn't even talked to him a whole lot. He just happened to hit me up on Facebook and say he was coming into town. And it's like, we picked up right where we fucking left off. That's good. I mean, we didn't really get along back then oh, either. Okay. So yeah, it was really kind of odd. Yeah. I mean, I took him to Lowe's, beat his ass. Wound up <laughs> kicking the shit out of him. Yeah. Um, so I got to do that on Friday evening. Then uh, Saturday, uh, my wife recently put together this like 10,000 piece puzzle. And now Jesus she's crying. She, yeah, she's insane. <laughs> um, so she's gluing it together and I made her a custom frame for it. Uh, what's really cool about like uh, a wood router uh -huh. is that you can go get a cool bit and like route in really cool decorative edges. Mm -hmm. So I went to the store and I found one. They're, they get pretty expensive. They can be 50, 60 bucks. I found an, an open box one for uh, $26. That's important to the rest <laughs> of the story. Let me tell you the open box part. A uh -huh. um, little bit on shop safety for you guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, router bits uh -huh. are made out of hardened steel. So they are very hard. They're carbide steel, uh, which is why... <laughs> You should never use one if they've ever been dropped on concrete because hard metals are brittle mm -hmm. and they can get little microscopic cracks in them. Oh, shit. So uh, when you chuck one up in a router that's spinning 25,000 RPM and you grind into a hunk of hardwood, they will explode <laughs> and come out like fucking bullets. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why this one was returned because somebody fucking dropped it and realized they didn't want to use it anymore. Mm. Uh, I don't know how I lived, to be honest. It uh, two holes through my shirt, <laughs> no under shit. my armpit. Jesus, you got to hang that on the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me cover up that one fucking <laughs> bullet hole that's already there. Sure. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I gathered up the pieces I could find and took it back to the store immediately, and they gave me a brand new one, no extra charge. Um, that was the least they could do. So I wound up uh, spending a weekend making this fucking frame, which is a bitch, by the way. It's, it's like you don't have enough <clears throat> shit, Jeremy. Well, I was Nick I needed Max at least one stuff. more fucking router. But yeah, I don't know where the hell she's going to put this. Like, we have any <laughs> wall space. To hang this, it, it's the size of this fucking table. Oh, well, Jesus here's the, Christ. Here's the thing. I, did, did she know that she could have just threw that whole puzzle away and you guys, you could have just framed the front of the box? No, she didn't. That would have <laughs> saved her so much time. Right. I, I like to think so. Yeah. She gets off on stuff like that, figuring out puzzles and stuff. I guess that's why she's with me. She's still trying to figure me out. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's because you're autistic. Yeah. Same. All right. Yeah. 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 It's the puzzle piece. I'm an enigma. Yeah. Mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank right. you, Scotty. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for tacking on to that. We didn't know what the fuck I meant before. Well, um, you know, just shut up. Okay. Uh, I, I'm trying to think. Did I do anything else? I don't think so. How was your Sunday? Sunday was fine. I mean, that's the Lord's Day. Yeah. It's been a lot reflecting on Jesus and yeah. the miracles he performed, trying right. to walk on bottled water. <laughs> yeah. All right. Used my nail gun a lot. Right. All right. That's about it. Okay. Cool. All right. Mr. Main Event, mm -hmm. what'd you do? Uh, I dug a hole. Did you? Mm -hmm. How big a one? Not too big. Six feet? No. No. Nah, just uh, planted something. Oh, That's okay. It. That's it? You, huh? you planted what? Huh? A shrub. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm. Love shrubs. Dude, tell me more about this. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all I did. <laughs> oh, you're so full of shit. I'm pissed that I'm pissed because I didn't get to go. Oh, see, that's what made it fun. I know. What uh, kind of shrub? <laughs> <laughs> a mulberry. Yeah. That's not that's a tree, dude. <laughs> no, don't, the bush. Don't remember? try and fuck with me on, on fucking wood, all right? I know my shit. I grew up around mulberry trees. Okay. Uh, no, uh I went and picked uh, my best friend flew in from Chicago, uh, into Oklahoma. So I went and picked him up and that was on Saturday. And Saturday we went and uh, I took out a loan and bought some drinks in Bricktown. Mm. You know, Jeremy, when you and I went to Bricktown, mm-hmm. and we actually went to the same exact bar that you and I went to, that yeah. Fuel, I remember drinking bourbon and water, well bourbon, for about four bucks a drink, I think. Four fifty. I'm pretty sure I picked up the tab, but okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I went with my wife as well, and I'm pretty okay. sure they were about four or five sure. bucks a drink. Did they start charging road drink prices? <laughs> nine dollars <laughs> oh fuck for a well bourbon and water plus tax so usually like here in kansas if you get a bourbon and water and it's three dollars it's three dollars it's not 318 it's right. three bucks there it was nine dollars plus another like dollar 22 tax or whatever jesus what do so, they use for well probably like kentucky gentleman or something evan williams evan williams which is a call Fuck that guy it's a call that was at every place i went to Everywhere I went and got a well bourbon and water, it was nine dollars plus tax. Jesus, Jesus, fuck that. <laughs> so it's like uh, they got a bartenders union or something. <laughs> right. I paid the same amount of money at the event I went to as I did at a bar down the street. That ain't supposed to how it's supposed to work. It's venue cheaper. prices are supposed to be way above. It's cheaper bar to prices. get drunk at the Paycom Center <laughs> than it is at your local bar in Bricktown. Wow. So we went to dinner. Uh, we went to Texas Day Brazil. That was the first time I've ever been to a Brazilian steakhouse. Which is it, Texas or Brazil? Both. It was right in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So around Peru. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, I ate enough to disappoint an, my entire family. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I literally felt like shit by the time we left. What it kind was, of food are we talking? Uh, I ate meat. Okay. That's you it. You just ordered the meat? Yes. I'll take the meat Yeah. cooked. Well, what they do, Sorta. what they do is you have a little, you have a little coast looks like a coaster on your table, and one side's green and the other side's red. Uh huh. So you flip it to green, and then they just start bringing stuff to your table. They're like, oh, they give you a little thing of tongs, and they're like, would you like some top sirloin? You're like, sure. And so they cut a little sliver off. You grab it with your tong, and then they finish cutting it the rest of the way down. They put that on your plate. Then you go to the next. Another guy will come and be like, "Would you like some uh, spicy sirloin? Absolutely. He'll scoop you off some spicy sirloin. Yeah. Would you like some garlic top sirloin? And spicy." They so had, it's all sirloin? They had, nope. They had filet mignon, top sirloin, flank, spicy sirloin, garlic sirloin, sausage, Parmesan chicken. Uh, did I say filet mignon? Yes. yes. Okay. That was in there. Uh, beef rib. <clears throat> it's pronounced fillet mignon, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use the hard end. Um, My apologies. <laughs> and uh, lamb. I had lamb as well. In addition to lobster bisque uh, was the soup. It was... And then when you're finally have had enough, you flip that thing over to red and you're done. So red means stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, all and you cook, can't turn it back? All cooked medium rare, the way it should be. Sure. Yep. I, God damn. Yep. We, go, we got out of there and I was like, we, there's a, a mall right adjacent to it. So we, we're, my buddy's like, we need to walk around the mall. I'm like, okay, yeah, I need to fucking move. Mm-hmm. So I walk around the mall and I'm like, I take about maybe 30 steps in the mall and I'm like, I got a shit. <laughs> So I walk in the bathroom, and uh, first one, piss all over the place. <laughs> Second one, shit all over the place. I like to think it's the same guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so I said, fuck it. I went upstairs. Well, he's got to run off those extra calories yeah. in the fucking steakhouse. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't stand still and go to the bathroom. <laughs> I unleashed holy fury uh, in the upstairs bathroom by the food court. Because <laughs> you're such a nice person. That's, that was the cleanest one. We stopped and, and get some uh, dipping dots on my your favorite thing was when I got done, like all the stalls were empty and this guy comes walking in as I washed my hands and he walked right into the one I just <laughs> left. Is there nothing more uh, like fucking that just makes you your heart sink than when you sit your bare ass on a warm toilet seat in a public bathroom? Yeah. That's uh, yeah. the oh god. You get that transferred butt heat. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You get <laughs> Yeah. You get fuck you were playing musical stalls and you <laughs> lost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you going to do? Reach down with your hand and feel it? No. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Jeez. I carry around a temperature strip <laughs> that I stick on there, and depending on what color it is, that's how I know how freshly used it was. Yeah. I like how they give you seat covers, like those little like uh, tissue paper seat covers mm-hmm. to put on the toilet. Because if I'm shitting in public, I don't have time for one of those. <laughs> Why put that there? I'm going to wipe the piss off the seat and drop trowel. It's time to go. Uh, Tom from the Bob and Tom show one time was talking about going to a hotel where they had that little paper strip across there that said sanitized for your protection uh-huh. with a turd <laughs> <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> And the strip put over it. <laughs> uh, well, that's how Derek left it. Sure. Yeah, you know? yeah, you move that little strip, you shit, and then you put that back. No need for paper. I, I remember when my wife and I were dating. We were we. She was pretty, or she was living with me at that point. We were. I think we might have been engaged. Actually, no, we were dating. But she was living with me, and uh, you left her the gift. Uh huh. Yeah, we, 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 we did that story. Yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind then. See, I drink a lot. I got wet brain. Sure. Uh, so anyway, went back to the hotel. We were going to go out that night, but I think both of us felt like shit. Like we ate way too much, so we didn't. And then uh, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yeah, did you stayed at the no, same hotel Sunday. No, stayed at a different one. Uh, we stayed at Hotel Bricktown. It was right, like right across the street. How was that so, fitness center? <laughs> uh, no Nordic track. <laughs> damn it. Yeah. Was it you I texted that to? I said, you know, God damn it. They don't have yes. a fucking Nordic tracks anywhere in this town. <laughs> yes. You what uh, what kind of elevator? <sighs> You're not going to be happy. <laughs> oh, no. I don't actually know what kind because I took the stairs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was so pissed. Yep, I would have been too. Uh, so stayed at that hotel, and then Sunday we checked out. About 11, went to breakfast, went to some place called Oklahoma Tap House, which is a really funny name for a place that has like four beers on tap. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, they use the rest of the taps to make the house. Yeah, right. right. Absolutely. They, it's like, hey, you guys, want, you guys want to go to the arcade? Yeah, what do they got there? Pac-Man? <laughs> <laughs> what else? They got Miss a, Pac-Man? <laughs> they got a crane machine and a jukebox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's fucking very well named. We walked in. I couldn't fucking believe this. So I wanted to watch the NCAA tournament uh-huh. before we went to our event. So I walk in. We walk into this place. I'm like, the game starts at like 1.20. Uh, so we walk in. They go, where would you like to sit? And I said, anywhere we can see the TVs. And it was kind of a cool setup. Like, it was the TV. It was two stories. Mm-hmm. And the TV took up the whole fucking wall. But they had it split into, like, different screens. So they had NFL Network, they had NBA G League on, they had Formula One, they had ESPN, ESPN. They didn't have the fucking tournament on. Oh, my. They had college softball, college baseball. Like I said, NBA fucking G League. (laughs) And I was like, all right, I'm watching the game on my phone. (laughs) Finally, they got the game on, and then we left at halftime because I didn't have time to, we had to get back. So we went this to Letter. on Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. And so we went to go I'm surprised see. they didn't just have church on TV. Right. Yeah, it's especially Oklahoma. in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think that's why maybe the game wasn't on. Everybody was at church. Hmm. But Makes sense. We went to go see Letter Kenny live yeah. Sunday night. Mm. I fucking hate you. Which was pretty fucking cool. Yeah? Yeah, I had VIP tickets. So Better than st- Mark Rubelet? Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's Who'd have thought? Shocking. Yeah. How, how much... How much, uh, you know, electronic music did they do? A little bit. Okay. They really? did some. They did Fair some. Like, they, yeah, they did some EDM. They had All Stuart. Right. Stuart, was, Stuart was dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. He does do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Him and Rolf were dancing. Uh, so that was awesome. They had a Q&A that they did. Uh-huh. So we sat through that. They had, uh, you could submit questions they only i submitted one but didn't get it answered they only answered like one audience question they asked them all just random questions okay so it was a q a with they wrote the q's and the a's too sure but, uh that These got the done. easiest questions to answer yeah we, we yeah. should know <clears throat> yeah yeah for sure and they came out uh they did a few different skits uh they showed some clips from uh the upcoming new season that's coming out in 2022 uh they it they, is 2022 that's coming out at the end sometime in 2022. Okay. And that, I'm guessing December. That's yeah. when they usually come out. I don't know. Uh, but it, the, the clips they showed were really fucking good. And then, uh, they actually even did some of like their more famous, uh, skits that they do. They didn't yeah. have squirrely Dan there. He went there. They had the guy that plays Glenn who writes the show. Jacob, Tier- yeah. Jacob Tierney. He directs every episode. Really? Yeah. Uh, and they were dead on fucking character. I mean, dead on. 
and Katie came out, and my jaw hit the fucking floor. Yeah? She's, um, she's unbelievable. God, she's hot. We were front row. Uh, <sighs> it was fucking awesome. And then the very end. Did it look, by the way, in this last season, like she's had some work done? It didn't look like it when I saw her the other day. But she was, uh, they, they they had Shorzy. Shorzy was in there. Oh, was he? Yeah. He was bashing all over Oklahoma, which was kind of nice. That's funny. Uh, That's just, uh, what is it, Jason Keto? Or? Jared Keto. Jared, Jared Keto. Keto. Yeah. I Jason saw- Keto is actually a nutrition master. Sure. He yeah. knows yeah. all about dieting. Yeah. Nice. I, thought, I love that guy. I thought I thought Keto is actually partially responsible for writing the parts of the show and stuff like that, too. Yeah, both of them. Him okay. and Tierney. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, Squirrely Dan wasn't there. K. Trevor Wilson was not there. Um, Which sucks because he's probably my favorite character. Mine too, all. but it was actually he's my second favorite character out of all. Uh, Gail is my favorite, okay. and she wasn't there. Hmm. But they had uh, Riley Jonesy, uh, Jared Kiso. They had uh, Derry Nathan Dales, Katie, That's all that uh, Jacob Tierney, the guy that does Turlet. He was he was there. Hmm. They had two a couple of them did stand up. Um, and then they closed on the, uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they okay. closed on that whole deal, which was pretty fucking awesome. They had the coach that came in and he was like, God damn it. Mm-hmm. When you go see Van Halen, you want to hear, you don't want to hear their new shit. You want to hear this and this and this. It's fucking embarrassing. Did he, he kick, kick a trash, trash can? I uh, kicked something. I don't yeah. know what it was. <clears throat> And then I spent 400 bucks on merch. Is he still slim? <laughs> Jeremy, was that you that just about shit yourself? No. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay. Yeah, well, it might have been my wallet. I, yes. I think we just heard my wife from fucking 10 miles away. <laughs> Given what you spent on drinks, I'm guessing that got you three T-shirts. <laughs> it did. Okay. Yeah. It got me a T-shirt that I'm too fat to fit in. It got me a hockey jersey, a hoodie, a shot glass, uh, this hat, and two koozies. Hmm, there you go. So, but I had a fucking blast. That's awesome. That, that's uh, that's one of the most underrated shows that a lot of people don't even really know about. I I just think it's great. I think it's become very overrated in the last I few years. I don't think so. I've I've been pretty disappointed the last three seasons. Really? Yep. Oh man, I still love it. I I was going through just because I was I was trying to like remember because because Derek went. Um, I was trying to remember some of the mo- more famous quotes, and it was just regular uh, like dialogue, and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's what makes some it of the great. early shit. The the Letterkenny problems, mm-hmm. those were fucking great. Mm-hmm. Yep, but it's like they're just doing the same old fucking running bits. I don't care. Like Mike Myers movies, kind of. Mm, that's okay. He's Canadian too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, all right. Well, I guess that was everybody's week. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, before we get to that. Oh, I want to ask, oh, too. What? How disturbing looking is Darian in person? <laughs> Not really. He, he's like the weirdest looking fucking face, receding hairline, but a whole bunch of hair like past here. Yeah. Just fucking weird looking. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's the goofiest looking one out of the bunch. I, I I think uh, I think he naturally is. Yeah, maybe the rest of them try to make themselves goofy looking. That's true. Stewart's like a normal looking guy yeah. in real life. Yeah, he yeah. didn't have. That's a wig that he wears. Mm-hmm. Right. So he actually came out with the Q and A without the wig on. You think Bill. he's got a great big crank? Oh, I bet so. Yeah, yeah big time. Yeah. yeah, big horn on that guy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right, but before we get on to the rest of the show, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped dot com. I don't know about all you guys, especially you new listeners. You better listen to this. Mm-hmm. Um, they make some excellent products to shave your downstairs regions. They're the best, you motherfuckers. That's right. They are the best. All of the other I'm just competitors. Scold the audience again. Yeah. All what of the hell the, was that? I don't know. That was probably Scotty's probably, dumbass. Probably. Probably. Um, <laughs> but they make excellent products to help shave your downstairs. Uh, Derek likes to say uh, what from uh, stank, stank to crank, crank. yeah, uh, hold a pole. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they say from bush to tush, shitter That's to critter, the shitter to critter. <laughs> Uh, with their main product, which is the Lawnmower 4.0. That thing is fancy. Sure is. It's got an adjustable LED light with God a. Damn right. Yep. You can dock it now, which is mm-hmm. nice for your charging. Pop, lock it, dock it. That's right. That's mm-hmm. actually the new setting on the game Bop It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bop it, twist it. Yeah. Pull it S- and dock it. That Crank way. Crank it, dock mm-hmm. it. That way, you know, you can actually charge it when you're not at home and put it in the bathroom that your guests right. use so you can they can walk in and see that, you know, you have one of those things and you're a cleansed person. Yes, yeah, they you know that you're not buy, filthy. You should just right. buy two of them and then you can have a guest lawnmower. Yeah. That's I'm, what you need to do. Absolutely. 
So if you got that's, one, you got to get a set. You got to get one for every bathroom. Right. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's because you never know. You, you never know yeah. when you're just in there and you realize, oh, shit, it's been a while. I better clean it up. Not only that, but you're providing uh, something that your guests can use. Absolutely. Be hospitable, That's you right. cocksuckers. I think they should be in every every hotel room has a hair dryer. Why can't we have a goddamn ball shaver in there? <laughs> That's what I want 100%. is a ball shaver that 1,800 people use. Then again, Absolutely. I have no problem sleeping in a bed that probably 900 people have fucked on. So <laughs> right. why wouldn't I use somebody else's ball shaver? Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly, and especially with summer coming around the turn, we got well, Scotty's spring. toothbrush has been in my yeah. ass. He still uses yeah. it. One hundred percent. Just got to clean it from time. It sounds like your fingers, mm-hmm. right? And my wrists. No, um, no oh. your wrists smell much worse. Oh, okay, fine. Um, but, oh, that was. Oh, go ahead. I was no, going to tell you something else about smells. Okay. Too, well, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, but anyways, they not only have that excellent product, they have other products that you need to check out. Uh, one of my favorites is the Weed Whacker for your ear hair and your nose hairs, mm-hmm. getting those uh, taken care of. Those are the most annoying things in the world to me. Is that it makes you look like a fucking asshole? What does? Having lo- nose hair and oh, ear hair. Oh, yeah. You look just like an absolute homeless person. Have, have you ever seen somebody who just has out-of-control nose hair and yes. it's like they don't even notice? Uh-huh. How do you not notice? You've got a fucking tumbleweed growing out of your nostrils. <laughs> well, as sensitive as my nose is, I, I don't know. I can't imagine those people. It doesn't make sense. And They're, I'm going to tell you, using this is way better than my old method of doing it. Whenever I would get hair, you know, uh-huh. I would just get some needle nose pliers and reach up there and just fucking yank, yank them. Oh, mm-hmm. see, mine was a lighter. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You like to live dangerous. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't fuck with me. Uh, but not only that, they have other uh, products as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a, I will set my own fucking nose on fire. I swear to God. <laughs> just take Axe body spray Come straight up me. there. Whoosh. Uh, but anyways, yes, you they also... smell toast? <laughs> this is, we, no advertisements for Axe. No free rides. Sorry. Like, they're not piggybacking on... They got their yeah. own smell good shit. That's, That's right. right. You take some fucking crop duster cologne up there. And yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Or actually the Manscaped yeah, the cologne. Refined, refined, I bet you, is pretty, it's probably pretty flammable. I mean, it's refined like gasoline. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're, you're just dripping it's, puss after wearing that it's shit. It's actually cheaper to fill my tank. With refined than it is <laughs> gasoline right now. Absolutely. Uh, but they have a bunch of other products that you need to check out over at manscaped.com. Check Make- out the trencher. It shaves your asshole. <laughs> mm-hmm. Doesn't exist. Derek, this is Derek uh, kind of chilling off. It's a wish list. It's a wish list. <laughs> Absolutely. At this point. I have a hairy asshole. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Manscaped actually contracted Derek for R&D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll God. tell you what. I have a hairy asshole, and that grill lighter is getting a little too close for <laughs> <laughs> uh, but check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing these commercials word for word. I- I'm just going to come out and say it. If you don't use this stuff, you're a filthy fucking person. <laughs> exactly. Inside mm-hmm. and out. Yeah. You can shave your puss with it too, ladies. Yeah. You are just an yes. ugly soul. Yep. A hundred percent. But you said you wanted to talk about something smelly? Yeah. Okay. Your wrists. <laughs> okay. Um, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oklahomans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. So, as you know, I have had COVID twice, and I have that, uh, what I can best describe, the wet cardboard smell. Okay. So, when I was driving to Kansas City a like few weeks ago. Like all the time? No. It's that, weird. That's like, what you smell, or that's what you smell like? That's what I smell. Oh. Okay. My wife will smell chemicals randomly at the same time i smell wet cardboard she still can't smell really at all there's a lot of chemicals in cardboard yeah so one day when i was driving to kansas city a few weeks ago i was with my buddy i said hey really weird question really weird question but what do you smell right now now normally that's a fart Mm -hmm. (laughs) but in this case it was not and he goes uh there's a skunk and i said okay i know one thing because we're smelling the same thing my wife and i are but we can't tell what the fuck it is that's doing it So we're walking in Oklahoma, me and my buddy, we're going into the parking garage, and I go, weird question. It's not a fart. What do you smell right now? And he goes, somebody's fucking partying. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. (laughs) Weed smells like wet cardboard, too. (laughs) That totally makes sense. So Mm -hmm. now we started laughing, and... uh, I, I, when I dropped him off at that bar, it was next to the wet cardboard store. So, was, <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, he's like, I'm going to start calling that wet cardboard from now on. That's, All right. That's code word. Um, also, I have a qu- I, I need, what, what do you think about this, Jeremy? Uh, I want your advice. Okay. 
Uh, I am. I know you're the advice expert. I sure am. I am going to get my hair cut next week, mm-hmm. and I'm or this week. And I made a joke to the girl that's cutting my hair, and I said, "Hey, uh, can you give me cornrows?" Mm-hmm. And she said, "My hair's not long enough." I said, "Fuck! Can you at least shave some of those sweet ass lightning bolts in the sides?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> she said, "Absolutely." I kind of want to let her do it. <laughs> I kind of want to let her let you let her do it. <laughs> Like I, I'm starting, I'm st- I get promoted or start training for my promotion on Monday. <laughs> and how great would it be to just show up with lightning bolts? Dude, to you're a fucking ball of energy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says tell, professionalism like lightning bolts. Tell them that this. I didn't do this on purpose. I'm a fucking superhero. This is a this is a birthmark. I got hit by a fucking evil curse. My parents <laughs> are wizards. Voldemort got me. Yeah. Okay, and let me uh, let me make another suggestion to you. When you finally do get your sense of smell back, to let your wife know that you've got it back, just go, "Hey, I smell <laughs> ass." <laughs> yeah. Hey, I smell ass. <laughs> oh shit! All right. Did you know that bit <clears throat> is not available online? No. no. Really? Like on YouTube or anything, none. They the one of the letter candy guys had me fucking like the stand up was okay, uh, but one of them one of the jokes the guy had he was talking about how he wants to make another TV show, and mm-hmm. he wants it to be about uh, these people from the future that keep coming back in time trying to kill Hitler as a baby. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But Hitler's mom doesn't know why. <laughs> So she's just trying to figure out why these yeah. people keep coming back to kill her baby. Yeah. He's like, it's a sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, you got to have a catchphrase like with every good sitcom. So it's, she's going to see him come through the portal and he's going to be like, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh God. I like it. All right. Well, moving on to the first thing uh, for this week's episode, you got to talk about it. I know everybody is getting sick and fucking tired of the memes all over the place. However, me included. Yeah, I mean, I am, too. But if we didn't talk about it, I don't know. However, uh, apparently Will Smith at the Oscars uh, got offended by a joke, walks up and smacks the shit out of Chris Rock. Now, you guys being stand-up comedians whose job is to make people funny and tell jokes. I can't make anybody funny. Mm -hmm. We have tried with you so Mm -hmm. hard, Scotty, and you are impossible. You're incorrigible. To what? You said that our job is to make people funny. No, your job is to make people... We know what our job is. You don't seem to. No, I'm not a comedian. We're not funny instructors. Yeah. No. You misspoke and we're capitalizing on this, Scotty. That's what's happening right now. Sorry, your job is to make people laugh and tell jokes. And uh, have you guys had somebody get so goddamn offended at a show to where they fucking came up on stage and smacked you in the face? I've walked them. Yeah? (laughs) I've walked them before. Oh, yeah. I did some bit about... uh, how they have arranged marriages in third world countries, and I think that's cool, but I think they should have gay arranged marriage. <laughs> and that really pissed some guy Fuck off. Fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to walk the other guy. <laughs> oh, okay. God yeah. damn it. Um, but no, I mean, this is, this is the very first time I think I've ever seen Will Smith openly in front of cameras lose his shit. Well... I think it's bullshit because now my wife is going to expect me to defend her honor. Uh (laughs) And that's not going to happen. Right. Uh, You made your bed, you lie in it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, I think his wife got offended, and he was like, well, shit, I better do something or I don't want to fucking hear this shit. So that was what he did. Um, Here's the, the thing with this. Is this happens at comedy clubs way more often than what people hear about. Uh, in fact, it happens fairly regular. And the, the big problem with this is is that he's not being punished in any way for it yet. He's had to apologize. Uh, Chris Rock said he is not pressing charges. <clears throat> I don't know if he can change his mind. I think it's important that he does because this will only serve to empower people mm-hmm. uh, who's, who want to do that anyway. Because there's always a few at a show. <clears throat> if, if you don't get offended by something, it probably wasn't a good comedy show. Right. Um, but that doesn't mean you can do that. And sometimes they will have fun at your expense. And you may not like it or may not feel comfortable. You know, his, his wife, he made fun of her hair. And she or has lack alope- thereof. Or lack yeah. thereof. Because she has... A place alopecia alopecia Uh and um it's not like she has cancer or aids she's got a skin disorder Mm -hmm. 
I have worried about this with Will Smith for a while now. Apparently, he goes everywhere with like four or five big fucking thug bodyguards that, yeah. everywhere. He's kind of turned into the Suge Knight. That sucks. Of Hollywood, and that's he's got zero sense of humor anymore. He doesn't take shit off anybody, and it's gotten to the point where he thinks he can do this consequence free. Yeah. And not only did he do it, but then he was given the Best Actor Award later on in the show. Yeah. He should have been arrested, carted out of there, and not been allowed to receive the fucking award. I, I, I think that they are still debating on that as far as I know. That hasn't come out quite soon enough yet because there have, there have been people that have been banned for the Oscars just for saying something and, and it getting on, not even on camera. Um, and I don't know exactly off the top of my head who it is because I can't remember, but mm -hmm. that has happened before. But do you ban a guy like Will Smith? Obviously, the person that was banned was not as big as Will Smith, but I this is grounds. I, I'm, I'm with you. And the joke wasn't even that good, and it wasn't even that like demeaning. Yes, she doesn't have hair right now, but he was comparing it to, to G.I. Jane, which if you've seen that movie, it's not that bad. Yeah. It was actually pretty fucking decent. Apparently, this stems back to a couple of years ago when a lot of black people were boycotting the Oscars because there were no black nominees. Mm. And Jada Pinkett made the statement how she is boycotting <clears throat> the Oscars. And Chris Rock was hosting that year. Nice. And he made the statement of you can't boycott something you were not invited to. <laughs> nice. And apparently that pissed Will Smith off to start with. So he came ready to throw down. Great. And so this was premeditated. He committed a fucking felony. <laughs> he really did. Yeah. I'm hoping that this means his next album is going to have cuss words in it. I hope so. Because I think yes. a hardcore Will Smith yep. is yep. going to be a good album. Yeah. I think he should go back to The Fresh Prince. I do, too. That's, that's what his fucking name should be. Absolutely. I, that's, I, ever since he went Will Smith, he's become a prick. Yeah. I watched that Bel Air. I'm telling you, I don't mind it. That's actually what they found on the side of Chris Rock's face. I uh, Fresh Prince. I also have been watching that... Uh, that Lakers thing on HBO Max, it's fantastic. Is it? Oh, I, my I fucking God. I watched the first part of the first episode. It's got John Cougar Riley, right? Jo yeah. I assume that's what the C stands for. <laughs> yeah. Captain. Anybody John, Captain John Ryan. with the C initial is okay. Cougar. Right. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Now we get to move on to the sports. Um, there's not a whole lot. Obviously, there's move, moves going on right now still with uh, players and football and uh, baseball, which we will get to. But the first thing that I found out uh, this the week. The Rams won the Super Bowl. Congratulations, yep. Rams. Yep. Thanks, man. Finally got over that hump. Yep, sure did. Mm -hmm. uh, but no. Uh, nice I, LA has something to celebrate. I, Absolutely. I'm super pumped for this, but m I found out that Mike Tyson has now made edibles shaped like an ear with a bite out of it. Okay. I think that's fucking great. Oh, he'll sign photos that say, hell yeah, I bet his fucking ear. Oh, he'll no. inscribe them that oh, way. Oh, I, I don't think he runs away from it anymore. No. no. He, he's admitted what he did, and he knows he was in a fucked up place. Yeah. And uh, he probably should have been arrested for that. <laughs> um, oddly enough, these edibles, Derek, smell like a wet cardboard. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> That's right. Or chemicals, depending on who's smelling it. No, but I just think it's brilliant. He's actually using it as a marketing tool, and I think it's going to be really successful. I know he's already been growing. He's been growing marijuana. He's owned marijuana company. Yeah, he's for got a, a marijuana while. farm. Yeah. That's, I mean, he's made millions yeah. and millions. Way, probably more than he ever made off box. Probably. Um, and Don King doesn't get a cut. That's right. Uh, Fuck that guy. I just wonder, too, with, with this, you know, uh, you know what? Never mind. Are you sure? No, nah, I'm positive. Okay. I was, I was going to say something provocative, but I'm not going to. Okay. Because we don't do that on this show. No. Anyways, uh, moving on from that, um, some baseball moves, I guess, uh, happened. One, you would think that I would be really, really fucking excited about being a St. Louis Cardinal fan. Albert Pujols signs a one-year deal with the St. Louis Cardinals. I am not happy about it. Why? I bet his dealer's still in the area. He Probably. might put up big numbers. I, Didn't uh, he announce his retirement last year? Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'm very frustrated, even as a Cardinal fan, and I know that Albert Pujols was solely responsible <clears throat> for a World Series. I mean, he was one of the main, you know, the MVPs of the World Series. I Most vaccinated player. No. no <laughs> most, most steroided out player. That's what I'm talking about. I know. Yeah. But... I know that there are Cardinal fans that have this nostalgic feel for this guy being back. Um, I do not. 
I, I stick to my morals and my principles, and this is also a guy that stuck up for somebody like Barry Bonds. This guy has not necessarily tested positive at any point, I, I don't believe, but it's, Look at him. it's blatantly obvious that he was one of the guys that was juicing. Um, we, we actually saw him uh, play in uh, the, um, the tournament here. Yeah, uh, one year, and he was significantly. Oh, smaller. the NBC, NBC World Series, as a semi-pro. That's right. Who did he play for? I do not remember. I don't remember seeing it, but I know so he was certainly here. Certainly memorable. The New York Needles. No, nice. yeah, yeah. Uh, the but, Cincinnati Syringes. Right. Um, but in all seriousness, no, I am not excited for this. I don't think he's going to provide any anything of real value. I could be wrong. Uh, this he's is taking just, up a fucking roster spot that, is what he's doing. Exactly right. He I, did not part on good terms. In fact, they moved his statue uh, from the stadium to, like, several miles away. It's actually in a West in a Philadelphia. Strip. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, where he was born and raised. Yeah, Will Smith actually bought it <laughs> just so he can say, I own Pujols now, and he goes out and slaps it all the fucking time. Right. Um, no, he. Uh, it's it's at a strip mall by the Funny Bone. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Sounds funny. It's like not even prominently displayed. It's out behind yeah. the stores. You've got to go looking for it to find it. That's great. <laughs> But uh, but no, I'm I'm not a big fan of this at all. I'd like to see him put it at the top of the arch, but not anchor it down to nothing. <laughs> just, <laughs> over. Yeah, just see if it's heavy enough to hold up the strong winds, because that thing sways back and forth anyway. Right. I think what the whole reason he even came back, and if he was going anywhere, he's going to the NL because he couldn't handle me heckling him in Kansas City. Anymore. Oh, don't worry about it, because we're probably going to go to a Cubs and Cardinals game if we can this year. I don't care where it's at. If it's in, Chicago. I'm not going to watch Cubs. Okay, well, you, well, fine. You can at least go to a Cardinals game with Fuck me. Fuck you. You can, and I'm then not you can go to a Cardinal game. You can fucking sit there on first base line and just. Hey, Albert! He won't play first. He'll DH now. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can sit close enough to dug out where you can heckle him the I whole time. I fucking hate that guy. I know you do. Do you hate him more because he used to be a Cardinal or because he's a piece of shit? He's a piece of shit. Okay, I, that, I get it. I, I understand. So there's that. Uh, moving on to... Uh, oh, what actually, did we have anything other other baseball stuff that... that um, you, I guess you were we were kind of talking about some minor league changes, I guess, with the bases, but that's like halfway through the season. It's only a minor league baseball. They're moving it up... Thir- or they're moving it up... To where it's going to be 13 and a half inches closer from first to second and second to third. Right. So they're doing that the second half of the minor league season to help increase stolen bases and extra base hits and things like that. And so minor league, people that don't know, minor league stuff is the basically the grounds where they try to test things. It's yes. the test kitchen, yeah. It, it is. And there's a whole bunch of new rules that are coming out that I – I really don't fucking like. Uh, they did confirm that they are not going to have. They're not going to allow the shift. I uh, love that. I, I don't know if I like it at all. I hate it. I do too. I, I, I think that you should be able to put your players where the fuck you want to put them, and there's only supposed to be nine guys on the field. You now shouldn't get them. fucking like four outfielders because a guy can't hit to the left side of we've, the fucking. We've, I hate that. We we you be, can double team anybody on defense in any other sport. Yep. Yeah, but you can't line up offsides. And in doing that, you you open up a huge portion of the field. And if you're any kind of hitter, you ought to be able to fucking slap it. You also, that. you also can't do moving screens. You can't do it. There's illegal defense. You can't line up off sides. You can't do pass interference. Mm-hmm. There's all sorts of shit you can't do. Yeah. But you can line your guys up where you want. On not defense. on, not offside. You can't actually the, the thing, the and thing in the neutral right. zone. So as well, long as they're not in the batter's box in the neutral zone, you can't line them up in the neutral zone. Either. But, but here's my, no, d- but you can line them up on whatever side of the field you want. You can line them up however deep you want you can put as many guys in the box as you want sure and not only that here's the other thing and all all of those games the rules are made that way to help uh help with the offense that's the whole point and in this particular deal it's i don't necessarily think it's going to be good for everybody but i don't know I, I don't like that rule i mean it's one of those things that it encourages batters to not be complete hitters yeah i mean you know in in Football, if you stack the box, you open yourself up to the pass. Right. If you double team receivers, you open yourself up to the run. It's they say to but bunt down the third baseline. If you got a guy that hits sixty two or fifty five or forty eight home runs a year, that guy doesn't fucking bunt. Like he all know of a how sudden, to bunt. yeah, and all of a sudden you're like, all he's got to do is bunt. 
No, learn, learn, learn. It's and not that stop easy. Doing it. That's how you take away the shift. <clears throat> you take away the shift by starting to do that consistently. Then they have no other choice. And then you bunt with two strikes and you're out. So now you're down. That's it. You, know, you don't have to bunt. I'm, I'm saying put the ball on that side of the field by not by bunting, by just doing it. It's a lot yeah. harder than it sounds. Uh, yeah, that's why you're being paid millions of dollars to do it. Yep. All right. I, I'm glad it's gone. Uh, but they will have the uh, – they call it the ghost runner, which I, it doesn't Stupid. make Stupid. Th- this is the only rule to where I am not really super pissed about. Um, in the uh, extra innings this year, they will still start out with somebody being on second base right out of the gate. How do they decide? Is it the next guy up? I think it's the guy no, that, the just, guy that just made the last out. That made the last out. Okay, he, so even out. though he got out, he's – He's at second he's base. He's at second base. base. Okay. Um, that's the only one that I, I kind of tolerate. I don't love it. Believe me, I don't. I don't like it. But especially if they did that just during the regular season, uh, and maybe during the postseason, they did not do that. I would. I would maybe tolerate a little bit more. But that's probably the one that has the least amount of affecting the numbers of the game. I. I am kind of glad. Uh, I think they're they're putting a the clock on the wrong player. I do. I too. think there needs to be a clock on the batter. If you take a pitch, there's no reason that you need to walk around fucking home plate and readjust your batting gloves and all that shit. You didn't fucking so – you need step one foot out of the box, look down to your third base coach, get the fucking signal, step back in the fucking batter's box. Agreed. I agree. That, I agree with that. But the, I've also watched a lot of pitchers just kind of start strolling around sure. the mound too. So, I mean, it's both ways. But, no, I agree with you on that. Well, that's uh, baseball for this week. Um <clears throat> Now, okay, yeah. Miners has that pitch clock. Yes. yes. And I went to a few games last year. I never once saw it come into play. It, it didn't. So what did, Not do they the need to had. shorten it in order to make it effective? Yes, they yes, are. They, they are. are. They are, are they? shortening. Yeah. Okay. It's going yeah. to, what, 24 seconds yeah, now or something, something like, like that? that. Yeah. Um, but uh, probably uh, the biggest news over this last week, uh, we had the continuation of the um, March Madness tournament. Um, I, got, I mean, kudos to fucking St. Peter's, man. Big big time like upset the upset uh, or the Cinderella that went the furthest. Fifteen seed went the farthest. They went all the, the way lowest seed to ever make it that far to the elite eight. I don't know that they they made it farthest as a Cinderella. I mean George Mason made it to the final four. Nobody expected mm. that. Yeah, but this was the yeah the the, the highest seed the highest seed it. to make it to the elite eight ever right. of all time. Um, and they they looked good uh, until you know they ended up losing. They got their yeah. ass kicked that game, but. Kudos to them. Congratulations on an ex- excellent season. It was bound to happen. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't think they were going to beat. No. But I didn't think that they would beat Kentucky. I, Murray I St- beating Murray State is not an easy fucking thing to do. They right. were undefeated a lot of the season. I thought for uh, sure Purdue was going to beat them. And then Purdue, yeah. I mean, how as, as being the superior team with superior athletes, how are you not prepared after that first weekend that they had? Yep. How are you not prepared for them? That it was goddamn crazy. foul that North Carolina – that North Carolina got fouled in the Sweet 16 with like a half a second left up nine, and that cost me a hundred bucks. I was so that sucks. fucking wow. pissed. So now we have the final four, <clears throat> and I am eating fucking crow because one of them is KU. Yeah, they play all. Anytime they make the final four, they play the worst. They have the easiest road. They that played. Totally they played a, the nine seed, the sixteen seed, and a four seed, and yeah. now they're getting ready to play Villanova without their second best score. Yeah, and, and the nine seed they played without their best score. Yeah, so they get an easy road. If they make it to the national title game, they're going to play North Carolina. They'll play the eight seed. <laughs> that's not, the way. Yeah, that's what's going to fucking happen. That's what. And, that's and what I, luck does. I hate to say this, but they're the best team left. left. They won't beat Duke. You don't think? No, I don't think so. They can't beat Duke. They've played every time they've played them in the That's early, true. They can't beat them. That's true. And how fucking good of a story would that be if K I'm Coach bowling K. for fucking Duke. That's I, who I am too. I hate Duke though. That's the thing. <laughs> I, I absolutely despise it. I of all the teams left, Villanova is the team I hate the least. Sure. So I'm I'm sincerely rooting for them, but I don't think they're gonna beat KU. Yeah. It's not without their second best score, I no. don't think. I no. hope they do. I sure as fuck hope they do. Can can I say one more thing nope. about? Yep, I'm gonna. No. Who? <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Sorry, I said nine seed. I think Miami was a ten, weren't they? I think you're yeah. right. I can't remember. That anymore. Creighton was a nine. Was, Miami was a ten, was so and pissed. Providence was a four. And then they beat the sixteen. Yeah. 
Um, but in this, um, in, in March Madness over the last, like, I want to say it's been 16 straight years that Gonzaga has made the Sweet 16. They have the longest, they, they currently have the longest streak um, of making the Sweet 16 every single year. Are they now the biggest choke artists in college basketball? I watched that game. That fucking Chet Holmgren got a lot of shit fouls called on him, and that impacted the entire game. He sat most of the entire first half. He's supposed to be the number one pick coming into next year, and not just him. I've watched a lot of the games this year, especially the charge. I thought, and maybe I'm wrong, but I thought both your feet had to be flat and planted. They do. I think as long as you're not moving back, if you're moving with the ball, the ball's coming at you, as long as you're moving back and not moving forward because i've seen a lot of calls where the guy's foot is up i've seen a lot that were like especially during that miami game nope. a lot underneath the basket where the guy's arms are up and the fucking shooters initiating contact and getting the foul i've seen a lot of that yeah. shit. The, the, you need to be planted yes you have to be planted with both feet and you cannot be the one instigating the contact is the actual rule. If Even if your feet are moving and he instigates the contact on you by pushing off or anything like that, yeah. that's a different story. But if you're talking about a situation like that, yes, your feet have to be planted and you can't be in the, in the uh, you can be, yeah. You can be up on your toes. You don't have to be flat-footed. See, but, I thought you had to be it, flat. But it helps. Yeah, generally, it sell it. generally, if if you're if you're going straight up and you're jumping, but you jump straight up and there's contact, you generally don't get called for the foul. It's when your arms go over. That's the and, that's the rule. And you can't be in that arch. You cannot be in that right. Arch. I've yeah. seen. I don't know. I've seen a lot that didn't look like that looked like blocking fouls to me. Yeah. that were chart that have been called charges. Yeah. Generally, that call, if there's any kind of contact, it generally goes to the shooter. Yep. Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll get to real shit or horse shit for our predictions, I guess, on that, which we've kind of already said. But anyways, uh, moving on to the NFL, uh, immediately following our episode last week, um, basically there were some moves. Uh, it turns out that Tyreek Hill is getting traded to the Miami Dolphins. He's been traded to the Miami Dolphins. Did I say getting traded? Yes, you did. Um, no, he is, he is traded to the Miami Dolphins. Yes. What was the picks? First and second rounder of this year. Of there this were, year? There were five first, picks First, total. second, and a fourth rounder this year, and then next year a fourth and a sixth round. Okay. Good trade? Yes. You like it? Yeah. I don't know if you watched all last year, but defense has figured him the fuck out. Yeah? He was as ineffective as he's been since he's been in the NFL this last year. <clears throat> now you get an extra first and second round pick. I mean, you've already you picked up Juju. He's not... He's not the same type of receiver. No, but I think the way that uh, <clears throat> the way that defenses figured out the Chiefs, I think you're going to need Mahomes to throw a lot more 50-50 balls. Which okay. Juju is more of a, a 50-50 guy. He's a, a bigger bodied guy. Yep. Because um, he's just not getting the time in the pocket to to let a speedster get way open down the field. Yeah, and you got to also think where Juju was coming from in Pittsburgh. You had a Ben Roethlisberger that couldn't throw the ball more than twenty yards, anyways. Mm -hmm. And, and he's been hurt. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I kind of like this move. They picked um, up Valdez yeah. Scantling, who <laughs> is also a speedster. Yeah. But he's also a fucking. I mean, that was the thing about Hill. He's made of glass. So is fucking yeah. Valdez Scantling. He can't stay healthy. But when he is healthy, he's almost as fast. Yeah. Were there any other moves that you guys that you thought were any good? I mean, we didn't really talk about Von not, Miller to Buffalo last week, did we? Not really good, but Andy Dalton is now on the Saints. Oh, great. Yeah. Jameis Winston signed a contract with the Saints. Did he? Mm-hmm. So that'll be a nice quarterback battle. Yeah. It's almost like the exact same situation that he was in in Chicago. <laughs> the Bears signed Trevor Simeon as their backup. Woo! And Nick Foles is probably on his way out the door. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, those moves will continue to happen in the off season. Any of the big ones, we'll uh, we'll talk about. But um, other than that, the biggest news I think in the NFL was we got a rule change there too. Both teams will now be assured of getting possession of the football in overtime during the postseason. I hate that it's just during the postseason. Either do it all the way through or. Don't do it. Uh, I don't like where it's like, well, now these – because the regular season games matter too. Yeah. If you're down to the last last game of the season and it's a win and you're in situation between two teams against each other, and now – so it's essentially a playoff game. Yeah. And now it's like, well, uh, sorry, next week this would matter, but this week it's just whoever – if you get a touch, just do it during the whole fucking season. Yeah. I'm going to guess <clears throat> stuff like – 
TV time contracts and shit like that Having comes in a lot there. to play with this. Yeah. Because they're only allowed to follow a game for so long before they have to switch over to the next game, depending on what region you're in and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. But if, <clears throat> I, I agree. It's to in fairness, that should be the rule. Plus, players may not want that. Yeah. That 17 game season is a fucking marathon and it is hard on them. And every extra minute that they're on the field is another chance to get fucking hurt. Yeah. But if they don't score during the regular season, then it's just the the fifteen minute quarter's over, and that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it would be the same exact way. Just both teams got a chance to possess the ball. I yeah. think they should just do that through the whole fucking season. I, I'm I'm indifferent about this one. I I I, uh, I like the fact that they're going to do it in the postseason. I think that's going to really give the op- the opportunity for um, Allen to be able to come back against the Chiefs in, in overtime. Which he hasn't that game had. could have gone on forever. <clears throat> it really could have. Neither defense was stopping the other offense. Yep. Both defenses were gassed. Yep, it was one of the one of the better <clears throat> uh, playoff games uh, yeah. I've seen. Um, but I like that they're at least doing in the postseason. I understand your point during the regular season, but when it comes to player injuries and things like that, I think that yes, while while they would maybe have the opportunity to win the game if they both got possession of the ball, I think that it's probably best that. Either you, I mean, there's not enough overtime games that that I think make or break your season because the team that ended up tying was was Pittsburgh this year and they got into the playoffs and it kicked out the Indianapolis Colts and the and the Miami Dolphins uh, for the AFC. So I mean, that was really the only really big tie that really mattered. And I don't know, I, I just don't think it matters near as much as keeping players healthy in the regular season. Well, and and there's plenty of offensive back and forth games where it just still boils down to. Who got the ball last? Yeah. Okay. Well, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, these are some things, uh, not just football, but we got some baseball stuff here. There was one rule that we did not talk about that they are uh, changing back to the original. So, real shit or horse shit, the best rule change for the major leagues is in the 2022 season is moving double headers back to nine inning games. That's the best rule change? Yes. I'm going to say horse shit. I think getting rid of the shift is the best. Oh, wow. I, I like the nine innings, but I like getting rid of the shift better. Man, I'm saying this is real shit. Getting that back to where it is not affecting the numbers and statistics and records for some of these games, I think, is something that is just sacred to the game of baseball. That's how you find out who who's a Hall of Famer. And I think that if you make it to where a game is shorter, you have pitchers last year that should have probably had a no-hitter. Like, I believe Clayton Kershaw was one of the guys who had a seven-inning no-hitter. Mad, mad Bum, I think. Oh, uh, was it Bum Gardner? Yeah. yeah. Um, but that really does affect the game. When he in probably had game. another two innings in him. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. What a bad nickname, too. Mad Bum? Yeah, I yeah. think that's like a guys that get lots of ass in England. Yeah. yeah. I get Mad Bum, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> However, at the same time, I have seen a lot of guys take no hitters into the seventh inning that couldn't finish them out. Sure. Oh yeah. But when so you there's take it no away. guarantee. But yeah, he didn't. It wasn't his idea to only play seven exactly. innings. Exactly. That was their fucking rule. Yeah. Um. Real shit for me. I'm gonna say it's horse shit simply because it's not a rule change. It's getting rid of a stupid <laughs> fucking rule. There you go. So I don't really consider it a rule change. That's fair, fair just enough. the way the game ought to pl- be played. Games are nine innings. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, next one. Uh, we've got some NFL here. Uh, Cam Newton will not be a starter for an NFL team this season. Depending on the situation. Ooh, where will he start? I think he's a second stringer that if somebody gets injured, he'll start. Um, I mean, he will not be your... your Named as a starter. Yes. Then I'll say real shit. Okay. I'm going to say real shit, too. He's still trying to get signed. Baker Mayfield is still trying to get signed. I am now... Mayfield wants traded. Well, yeah, he's trying to get traded, but I don't necessarily think it's going to happen. I don't think either of them will be named the, the starting quarterback this season. Jeremy? Yeah, he won't be named a starter. Yeah. I agree. Well, with all of the roster changes, real, I don't know that uh, I would even want him as a second string. I don't. I don't either. He didn't look all that impressive. No, last year, first no, game, and and he thinks real highly of himself. Right. Um, especially last last season, he had one game. This very first game back, he had two touchdowns and the rest sucked. Yeah. So. Next one, real shit or horse shit. After all of the roster moves, the Miami Dolphins will now be a playoff team this season. 
That's tough. I'm going to say horse shit. Okay. Uh, they're not going to overtake the Bills at no. all. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the Patriots do. They could finish third in the division unless they get somebody else at quarterback. I don't think two is the right guy. I agree. Uh, yeah, I do not think they're going to be a playoff team this year. Exactly for that reason. I do not think Tua is going to be able to hit Tyreek Hill as much as Patrick Mahomes was able to. The biggest thing is, is with the Kansas City Chiefs, you don't only just had, you didn't just have Tyreek Hill. You split that defense up of somebody that could go long and somebody who is a fucking powerhouse in the middle with Travis Kelsey. So you have those two targets that are requiring a lot of attention. Now he's and you had going, another four three forty guy and yeah, Nicole and Hardman. Hardman. Pringle was coming into his own. Yep. And you had a decent running game. And you got Jalen Waddle at, at Miami. I get that. I understand mm-hmm. that. But I do not think that you have the athletic and talent uh a bit or the athletic ability and talent of a Patrick Mahomes no. in Tua. Tua is not Patrick Mahomes. I, exactly. So I've seen their birth certificates. They are not the same person. <laughs> it's That's right. probably what people want to think. But I, and the other thing that people are just, are forgetting about, you've <clears> got the the New England Patriots in that division, mm-hmm. and you've got the Bills in that division. I think the Bills win it, and I think just like you said, the New England Patriots will get will get second in the division, and so they will have to beat out those other teams that we talked about. The Jets. Huh? Oh, the Jets is be the Jets are still finishing last. Yeah, the Jets are still yeah. finishing last, but you're going to have to beat out those other teams in the AFC. And it, do you, if you asked me if there was a division that had three player or three teams out of the same division, I don't think it's that one. It's the West. Yes, Jeremy. Yep. <laughs> yep. You, you basically said everything I was thinking. I mean, it's it, they're going to come in third in that division. I mean, the the Patriots were eleven win team last year. Yeah, they were good, and they were they were really good, strong defense, especially. Um, and then, yeah, you've got a couple of, of revamped high powered teams in the West to go along with the chiefs. So I think you're going to get, I think you're going to get a, a division winner and a, and a wild card out of both the, the East and the West. Okay. I, my, here's a off the wall question, not real shit or horseshit, but who's, who's the best team out of the AFC West? Who do you have winning that division this year? If I had to pick right now, what? Well, yeah, right now, just not, right now. Because I don't know what the Chiefs are going to do with those draft picks. Yeah. They could really improve their team greatly. Okay. Um, they still have a fucking fat loser as a head coach who <laughs> will try I'm and not fucking coach in the Chiefs. Yeah. No, dude. the other one. Oh. oh. Uh, God, I thought I got a new job. I was excited. I was like, I'm a millionaire. Dude, right. dude I would love to have you as the coach. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that bad, huh? Yes. I First thing I'm stand doing. that prick. Mahomes family, you can't come within 10,000 feet of the stadium. <laughs> Fair enough. What about you, Derek? What do you think? What about what? Uh, who, who do you think is going to win the AFC? But anyway, West? right oh. now I'm going to say Chargers. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say Chargers. Yeah, well, and I, I know like uh, Trey Wingo's picking the. Uh, he's is it Trey Wingo, I think that's picking the, uh, picking the Broncos. Really? And he's picking the Vikings to win the NFC North. I I said that, but uh, yeah, I think the Chargers just because you got Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa on the same fucking defense, and Herbert's no slouch. And yeah, I I think the Chargers are good. I think the Chargers are going to be really. Did they good. extend? They extended Keenan Allen, didn't they? Or not Keenan Allen, but Mike Williams. I believe so. I think yes. they extended Mike Williams. <clears throat> Does uh, Trey Wingo like having his head up his ass? <laughs> is it comfortable or warm up there? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, that's where because that to guy's have. job is to understand football, and he doesn't seem to. Yep. Uh, next one: real shit or horse shit? The San Francisco 49ers are wrong to hold on to Jimmy Garoppolo. They have announced that they are not going to be trading him or releasing. Him. It's horse shit. That they're not wrong for doing that. You were one game away from the Super Bowl. Yeah. Why would you get rid of that guy? It's but, just like I heard Chiefs fans, I was telling you earlier, saying that, oh, they're, they're, they're saying they might try and trade for Debo Samuel. You're not trading Debo Samuel if no. you're the fucking 49ers. No. You were one game away from the Super yes. Bowl. He's why. Yeah. So, you're trying no. to find that last piece. And you have an insurance policy. So say you decide that you're going to start Trey Lance. Say he wins the starting job. If he goes down, you've got one hell of a fucking insurance policy in Jimmy Garoppolo that you know has been successful. Is he an elite quarterback? Absolutely not. But he's good enough to get the job done. He's Alex Smith. That's what he's he is. Not, he's not going to lose the game for no, you. No, that's exactly like I said. He's Alex Smith. I feel like uh, except a, Alex Smith can lose the game for you. Sure, he's a game manager. That's all yes, he is. Yes, yes, but a very effective one. Yes, I think I think this is actually real shit. 
I don't necessarily think it's wrong as far as strategy and, and if you're trying to win games. I think it's wrong what they're doing to him as a as a person and a player um, because I think he's good enough to be a starting quarterback on another team. And anywhere that he could go, I think he would take that particular job. I think he's going to be the same. I, I mean, he's still I, under yeah. that big contract. And he's so, starting. He's not – Trey Lance hasn't been named the starter. I, I don't think so. I think they're trying to move to Trey Lance, and, and they I think they should. That's they gonna should. Be, that's, you that's you gonna, bet the farm on him. Exactly. That's your franchise. That's that's your new that's your new face of the program. So, it used to be you sat for a couple of years and you learned, and I, I think that's the right – I think they're going about it the right way. Yes. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, but so, I think as a general manager, if you don't eventually go with him as the starter, you will. Yeah, you, you have to. You're going to lose your job. You yeah, will. I, I you wasted a third overall pick on that guy. If he goes, if he's benched again this year, he'll start next year. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Because I think Garoppolo's contract is up, right? I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. Uh, last one: real shit or horse shit? The KU Jayhawks will win March Madness's national championship. Horse shit. I'll never say real shit ever. Horseshit. <laughs> they could be playing fucking Hutchinson School for the Blind. <laughs> Horseshit. <laughs> Not happening. I. But if they do, it's because they're playing an eight seed in the final. Oh god. I don't. Fuck. I. I know you don't fuck, Scott. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. You've heard the stories. No, I fuck myself. And if they do win it, it'll just be vacated anyway. Yeah, true. They still got that. Uh, investigation i guess that's coming out yeah, that two-year three-year pending investigation yeah i'm gonna say this is horse shit as well i can't i can't give them any credit i can't stand the KUJ hawks jeremy just just based off of hope i'm gonna say <laughs> that it's horse shit just <laughs> glad we're all I, on the same I, page because I, I don't want it to be true but i don't know who the fuck is gonna beat them we I really don't we I realize they've got a Duke. bad losing streak against Duke, but or at least in the in the tournament they do. But I just Duke's not that good, and neither is North Carolina, and neither is Villanova. Uh, we, Duke looked pretty good the other night. They did. Um, if you are new to listening to this show, we are based out of Kansas. We are three people who reside in the state of Kansas and fucking hate Kansas as far as the, the university. So that should tell you something. Okay, well, that's done for the sports. Now we get to move on to the funny, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, the funny. Dude, I already got as funny as I was going to get. I'm going to laugh my ass all the way to the house. I'll see you Mm -hmm. later. Okay, bye, 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 bye. bye. Okay. Oh, thank you, jackass. All right. Well, this is the uh, growing in popularity segment um, that we've been doing for the last uh, several weeks. Um, This is Bad Advice with Jeremy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any particular situation where you're going to need some advice from a very intelligent individual you can send bad it to us advice uh, yeah that's what i meant to say bad advice this is bad advice we know it yes. okay so those lightning bolts were bad advice yeah no that wasn't the segment <laughs> that was, that yeah. was the best <laughs> advice i've ever given <laughs> right. right in fact if you don't do it you're a coward <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but where, if you do need uh, some bad advice, you can send them to us uh, at our Instagram. Show up or, to work with a Thor's hammer, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just put it on In your the desk. Thor outfit. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yep, exactly. Uh, what do you mean, Derek? I'm from Asgard. That's right. <laughs> uh, but if you do have any things that you need some bad advice on, you can send them to our Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, or Facebook. You can also send them there. Um, but uh, give us details. Jeremy likes details. Those are very important yes. to him. Gives me a little something to work with. That's right. Uh, but this week's bad advice is a gentleman named Justin Road, and he writes, Jeremy, I really need your help. I've been dating this girl for three years, and no matter what I do, her mother will not approve of us being together. I would like to marry her, but I don't know how to solve the problem with her mother. What is your advice? Wow, three years. <laughs> Yeah. Without her mother's approval. That's got to be a weird fucking Thanksgiving, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, this is a very common problem. Uh, you know, the, the parents of the one you loved not accepting you, that happens for all kinds of reasons, whether it be, you know, wealth and equity or, you know, the class system or religious differences or cultural differences. Sorry to say ethnic or racial dis- differences. 
but since you didn't give any of those, I'm going to assume it's for the most common reason of all. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, your your future mother-in-law, wannabe mother-in-law, uh, doesn't think very highly of you. She probably thinks you're a slob. You're you're no good. You're a loser. Uh, you listen to this show, so she's probably right. But <laughs> really, if you want her to come around, you're going to have to convince her otherwise. Because this is all just tribalism, right? And tribalism is, is very symbolic. So you're going to have to show her in a very symbolic way that this is not who you are. You're going to have to show her that you're a good person, that you care. The best way to do this is without talking. But she's not going to want to talk to you. She's not going to want to meet up with you. So you're going to have to wait for her in her house. (laughs) When she's not home, you just go in, steal your your girlfriend's key, you know, maybe make your own copy, whatever. But you're just there at her dining room table. Keep the lights off. Okay? (laughs) That'll let her know right away that you're a caring person. You care about her electric bills. You're not going to waste her electricity. Now... When she gets there, she's going to flip on the light, and immediately she's going to see you. And again, she doesn't think highly of you, so she's probably not going to want to sit and have a discussion with you. And that's where you go through the symbolic motion of tie strapping her to a chair. (laughs) Make her listen, okay? You want to show her that you're a person who cares about, you take pride in what you have. You keep things in a good condition. Nothing looks better than a nice, shiny, nickel-plated pistol. (laughs) <laughs> be clean in that when she gets there also show her that you care about your your own body you take pride in your own body you 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 care about nutrition so you're going to want to take like a switchblade and cut pieces off of an apple and eat that just make her watch you do that you're going to want to point out that you're a hard worker you don't mind getting sweaty getting dirty you're going to want to point to the fact you brought in some cinder blocks and a chain <laughs> Maybe some shovels and a bag of lye. (laughs) Show her that you're not afraid of manual labor, that you're going to do what it takes to really, you know, take care of of her daughter. Then, oh, we got to reset on the song? Yeah, you're good. All right. Then you want to definitely let her know that you're going to be willing to help her daughter out with the work around the house by showing her that you've got a bottle of bleach. (laughs) It's all symbolic, man. Then you're going to want to give her the universal sign with no words, but you're going to want to give her the universal sign. And I hope you're watching this. You want to say, me being a worry for you is gone. (laughs) And then because future uh, mother-in-laws are always worried about, you know, are they going to have grandkids, pull out a picture of her daughter and jerk off on the table. (laughs) Show her how fertile you truly can be. You're going to want to go a couple of days without, because you want to leave a nice big pile. And then once you've said that, or not said that, just shown her all that, you're going to want to walk up to her with that switchblade, get it right up to her face so she can see how well you've kept it, how nice and sharp it is, put it right in her face, and then cut her tie straps loose and walk out. I promise you, worrying about her is going to be the least of your problems from here on out. And that's my advice. (laughs) Holy shit. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude, I understand people. <laughs> I understand symbolism. I understand Fuck. how people think, how they work. All right. I know how to get through to people. I've got people skills. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case, good luck with that. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. This is where we're going to take a couple of suggestions, uh, even from a couple listeners. Same thing. You can send it to our Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. But yeah, uh, first one, I'm going to go overrated or underrated, sex in the shower. Overrated. It's slippery and I'm clumsy. (laughs) That is a bad idea. That is how I get concussed and tear my sack. (laughs) Not going for it. Okay. And I'm large. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that doesn't. No, yeah. that's not a good combination. Bigger, and it's cold being in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, too. Mm-hmm. I uh, know. Yeah, this is... this is Jeremy's witnessed it firsthand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is overrated as hell. It's, it's not what it's cut out to be, man. It just isn't. 
And, and, and you think it's not it's not actually as slippery of what the act is. It actually makes it a little bit more difficult. It does. That washes away natural <laughs> lubricants. Yes, it does. So it's uh, it's definitely not as not it's not hyped up. That's why I always it's, slide it's her down up. with some head and shoulders first. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go with overrated on this. Shampoo is better. That's right. <laughs> Conditioner is better. <laughs> I make the penis silky and smooth. <laughs> I go on first and clean the penis. <laughs> and when she looks at you, stop looking at me, swan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's too damn hot for a penguin to be out here just walking around. <laughs> Nudie Magazine Day. Remember uh, Nudie Magazine? Absolutely. <laughs> Drunk Chicks was the one he liked mm, the most. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I am required to say that it's underrated because... A couple, three years ago, I spent a fuck ton of money to build a special fuck shower. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, all he does is jerk off of it. <laughs> it's big enough for three people of my size. And I put a bench in there and special grippy floor stuff. And so if I say it's overrated, that w I would feel like I just... <laughs> Flushed all that money down the toilet. I'm just going to bring the wife over to Jeremy's every Tuesday at 9. Uh, Can you borrow your shower? <laughs> and it's the only time that I can guarantee we're both clean. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated, using a pool noodle to blow water in someone's face. Overrated. What? Gross. I'm not going to put my mouth on a pool noodle that somebody's been fucking straddling all <laughs> God for how many years? Yeah. No, thanks. Uh. And the amount of lung capacity you probably have to have for mm -hmm. those long... Fuck that. Oh, man. I guess I got some lungs. This is underrated, especially if you can hide it and surprise them. I think it's great. Jeremy? Th this is way overrated. I, I don't need tools to spit in your face. <laughs> well, yeah, you do. No, I don't. Uh, I don't no. even need a pool. <laughs> you want to bet, Scotty? Watch me. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'll be over there. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Walking up a wheelchair ramp as an able-bodied person. Underrated. <laughs> That's just a nice little, look what I can do, motherfucker. <laughs> And then I like to get to the top and then just kind of stand there like Rocky with my hands in the air mm -hmm. and yep. run in place. <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, I agree. This is underrated as hell. It's kind of a kick in the face to them in the first place. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's what he just said. No. Um, Did he say that? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Not in, He said it in better words, but yeah. Um, they can't kick. <laughs> oh, no. I swear to fucking God. Okay, fine. You've How about already you? ruined it. Don't do it. I didn't. I know. Okay. All right, Jeremy, how where about was you? I at? <laughs> Over. Fucking home is where we're hoping. That's where we both want to be, Jeremy. Oh, you guys Jesus. suck. All right, go ahead, Jeremy. Okay, this is underrated. This is the only time when you will see me skip. <laughs> oh, really? I celebrate the fact that I can walk up that motherfucker. I will sometimes build ramps. Really? Just makeshift ramps if I've got, like, an extra board or something. Just to walk up it, even though I could take the stairs, just because. Okay. Fuck you, handicaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Day drinking. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to go overrated. And I'm going to tell you why. Afternoon hangover. <laughs> sucks mm -hmm. i have day drank and my wife come home from work at like 7 p.m and i am passed out in the bed with a migraine from fucking hell mm -hmm. that is the worst thing in the world and no one wants to fuck at 6 30 so <laughs> no. yeah way overrated yeah uh with me i can't go that long without eating something and once i eat i'm done drinking mm -hmm. me too and that's when the fucking headaches set in mm -hmm. and Nope. If I can keep my brain wet, yeah, it'll it won't hurt. If but I have to, and eventually, if I start that early in the day, I'm gonna run out of beer, <laughs> and I'm too drunk to go to the liquor store. So, and and I'm not gonna go to Oklahoma and pay nine dollars for a fucking drink. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. 
Uh, yeah, this is way, way overrated. I think the worst part about it is if you do, like, if you day drink, day drink, and drink a lot, I mean, you're exactly right. You end up passing out at 6 o'clock, like Derek was saying. And, and then it, you go to meet him for dinner at 7.30? No, <laughs> not even that. If you're passed out and can't wake up, your day is night is done and you're an asshole for missing dinner with your spouse overrated i'm yeah. gonna guess actually you're probably a bigger asshole if you stay awake <laughs> just based on the way that you're gonna treat her because <laughs> oh, thanks generally day drinkers aren't jovial people yeah <laughs> true they tend to be angry drunks yep all right uh next one this is actually a fan suggestion oh god uh-oh at new matt shelton he wants to know, overrated or underrated, honking your car horn while driving by a golf course and someone is in their backswing. I'm abstaining from this question. Uh-oh. I've never driven by a golf course. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I'm abstaining from that because I don't know where any golf courses are. Okay. I can uh, take you some. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh, fucking money bags over here. Redo his shower and all of a sudden he starts picking up golf. Yep. Check you out. Uh, no, I picked up driving by golf course. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I can afford a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, I'm a golfer, and I golf a lot. And if somebody does this when I'm in my backswing, I still fucking laugh. Uh -huh. This is underrated as hell. I don't care. That's my favorite jackass segment. Yes. Wow. Oh, and not when they're when they're With hiding the, the bushes in the air hole. Yeah, I fucking Fuck love that. Yeah. That's my second favorite jackass. Segment. I, I love. Where he tried to blame it on his bursitis. <laughs> <laughs> best and that guy just chucked his fucking club at him. <laughs> <laughs> to be the best jackass segment was in the first movie. I think it might be the first scene where he, the rent a car smash up derby. That is my favorite. Yeah, yeah. and then he goes to return it. Return. And he runs and get the blow up dolls and takes off running. <laughs> he did, he didn't get the insurance on purpose. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Jeremy? This is one of my few <laughs> true joys in life. It really is. Because typically golfers, apparently not you, Scotty, but most golfers take their golf way too serious. And apparently they they don't realize, you know, with outside interference like that, you can just hit it again. Yeah. Um, you know, you're on your own honor, really, and and I don't think that would be allowed in any kind of a tournament or anything. You would be allowed a mulligan if that was the case. Um, so yeah, I I don't know why, but they will even if they do give themselves an extra shot, they will sit there and stew about that. It will fuck up their whole game. <laughs> yeah, it will. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. I I learned the locations of golf courses just to do this. Yeah, and if they are those kind of people, like. I, you don't want to play with them anyway. They're, they're pieces of shit to play with whenever they get pissed like that. I love them, actually. Okay, fine. Uh, I like competitive, healthy competitiveness, Scotty. Yep. It's uh, not you. We're going to do an extra one today. Okay. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Peeing as far away from the toilet as possible. Overrated. What? Yeah, absolutely. However, underrated? Shitting as far away from the <laughs> toilet as possible. <laughs> Oh, my God. Have you ever shit for distance? <laughs> Target shitting. <laughs> that not a very good fun. shot. Yeah. One time I left it on the sanitary thing on the seat. Yeah. 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 That's what you did. Yeah. That, uh, that is great. Uh, no, I, so far, I'm 0 for 39 yeah, yeah. But, and not allowed in Cracker Barrel. You know you know the upper decker when you shit in somebody's tank? Mm -hmm. Well, in public, you know how they just have that little Sloan valve? I like leaving a nice pile <laughs> right on that. <laughs> you actually, I, I like to squat down as close as I can and then just slowly raise up. I did that in a urinal a, once. Oh, that was the, I, I was 14 <laughs> and thought that was the funniest thing in the fucking world. It, it is. <laughs> not for the guy who's got to clean it, though. Yeah. That yeah. was one of those things as a, as a young teen. I was such a dick. Oh, me too. <laughs> I, I was such a piece of shit. If I could go back and find myself, I would kick the shit out of myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. For the shit that I would do just to piss people off. Yeah, when I shit in the urinal, I couldn't eat like a peanut buster parfait for like months <laughs> after I did that. I was like, uh, it ruined Dairy Queen for me for a good <laughs> summer. Oh, man. I, I, I actually think this is underrated in public restrooms, overrated at your house. Main reason why, because if you're going to miss a little bit, and you better clean your shit up uh, if you're at home, because then your wife's going to yell at you. 
But if it's in a public restroom, somebody else has to clean that shit up. My like, wife's still yelling at me because I shit in the women's room. Yeah. <laughs> That's too yeah, bad. Yeah, there, there is, from a urinal in a public restroom, there is a socially acceptable distance to be away from it, and I like to exceed that. <laughs> Especially as I'm getting older, my stream ain't what it used to be, so I'm usually coming up well short. <laughs> And just pretending like, just push a little harder. I like Three using short. I like using the short urinal. Sure. <laughs> I love that because then you just see a kid walk in that's eye level with his fucking, and he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> and I take my time. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You should. Pinch it off in the middle uh-huh. just yeah. for fun, and then yeah. you can't get started again. Gotta do but those, you still got to go. <laughs> got to do those maggles. Yeah, the yeah. maggles. The fuck. Oh, shit. All right. Well, that was overrated or underrated. Again, if you do have any suggestions, you can send them to us. And uh, if we like them, we'll do those. Uh, moving on to Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Same thing. Have any questions you'd like us to answer, send them to us at Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. Now, first question, which we may have done this one before, but we're going to do it again. Uh, first question. What men think women are saying when they go to the bathroom together? Can I go? Yeah. You want to have a contest to shit for distance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think they talk about scrapbooking tips. That's what okay. I. That's what I think. Okay. Derry. They're totally gonna go play swords. <laughs> <laughs> How do they do it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it gay if they cross streams? <laughs> Good God. No, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Um, what would be a good use for an abandoned mall? I have actually been watching a lot of YouTube videos of these dead malls. Oh, yeah? And, God, they're so creepy. Because you can... You can close your eyes and see where stuff used to be, and you can you can picture it in your mind that this, you know, just this buzzing social activity, and now it's just dead. Yeah, like just all the humanity just disappeared off the planet. And usually, they're they're good places for vagrants to go. And for some reason, they can't keep nothing nice. They got to tear shit up. <laughs> and so there's usually like boards with nails and shit construction waste all over the place so i'm gonna go with hardcore wrestling matches <laughs> <laughs> mick foley would have a fucking field day in an abandoned mall there's broken glass everywhere there's pieces of scaffolding there's just all kinds of shit there usually buckets full of water like have you seen the uh the abandoned like swimming pool area in prip and in, in pripyat yes uh the places like that i think would be absolutely amazing for uh, paintballs, like paintball courses and shit like that. I think that would be fucking cool. Mm-hmm. So that's my answer. Okay. Derry? Mm, shit. I think they should just fill them all with J.C. Pennies. Yeah? <laughs> just one big motherfucker? One, yeah. Okay. Just one giant J.C. Penny after another, and then the only remaining Sabaro. <laughs> those okay. those are the creepiest ones. Is the ones that they're still like two stores open. Yeah, the the what do they call them? The anchor stores are uh-huh. still open, but so technically then the mall is still open. But there's usually Bath and Body Works for some reason stays open, and GNC really? stays open because you know you go out in the middle of nowhere to get your fucking vitamins. Right, and then usually one restaurant uh, and, and pretzels. Yep tends to stay open and then there's just a bunch of old people walking around and then there's a still open but not maintained arcade (laughs) usually in there that usually has like little kid rides you put a quarter in and you sit on top of a mechanical alligator and it goes back and forth and none of those work anymore and there's like games where you get like you know fucking prizes and shit out of and and but nobody goes to it the place is it they don't even turn the lights on in it anymore jeez all right it's open Okay, uh, next question. Uh, this is uh, this is actually a fan question. This is from the Lookout Squad. They want to know awful names for superhero sidekicks. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Jeremy, I'm struggling. What now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, awful names. For superhero sidekicks. 
I don't know, like Fat Man instead of Batman. Yeah. That'd be a terrible one. Yeah. Like, you're going to get a dia beat down. Yeah. I was, uh, I'm going to go with Boy Enema. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> Boy Enema? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about, uh, like, uh, the distant shitter or something like that. Uh, but I can't think of anything. So. Okay, fair uh, enough. That was yeah. a no, I got real nothing. good one there, man. Shut the fuck up. Not you, Lookout Squad. Real uh, good one. Yeah. Uh, next question. Actually, we failed on that one. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we didn't <laughs> practice near far ahead. No, we didn't. Uh, next question. Best ways to punish people who take up two or more spaces in the parking lot? Oh, park right next to them. Yeah. That's what I do. And then you get friends that block them in. Mm-hmm. Like, like you're not the only guy. I mean, your main job, because this is your idea, is to park in their, like, blocking their driver. Door, Absolutely. Right? That's yes. the first job. Yes. Um, but you got a, you get, like, a random friend that you've never met before in your entire life that comes in and helps you. I've seen another good one, too, that's fucking fantastic. Zip tie a cart to their door handle. That's another good that one. That is a mm. fucking great and one. Show it your gun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or you just sit there with your knife and you start uh-huh. eating slices of apple. Slices of apple. <laughs> yeah. yep. I, I've, oh, God damn. I've got so many of these. Uh, I'll, uh, one that, that you kind of have to have some automotive knowledge, but uh, zip tie their, like, their drive shaft, their axle shaft, one of the two, to where it's going to start making racket. That's a good one. But my, the one I'm that. I'm too fat to get out of the car. Yeah. And you got to get. cars are front wheel drive anyway. Yeah. And you got to, you, you've got to get underneath the car, which it's tough. The one that I, I have actually what done. What does they come out while you're doing that? You, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thought this was my car. <laughs> <laughs> You want a catalytic oh. converter? <laughs> oh, boy. Right now. <laughs> yeah. I'll just weld this back on. That's right. Uh, but, no, the, the one that is very, very easy to do and it takes the least amount of time is you um, – each each valve stem for putting air in your tires has has basically a valve stem core that you can very easily either put a rock in it or a pebble cap and the yeah. ca- on the cap and screw it down and all of the air will come out of the tire. Um, this is the main reason why I do this to these people is because it doesn't cost them any money. It costs them time for being a royal piece of shit. Because what they'll do then is put on their spare, go to a tire repair facility, and those tire that tire repair Not facility. If you do it to all four. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Then it costs them money. I believe in doing just one, but. Um, but yeah, that that's a good way to waste a lot of their time for them being royal pricks. Jerry, <laughs> what if you just walk out and there's some meth head and he's trying to cut your catalytic converter off? <laughs> weighs like ninety two pounds. He's like, hey, uh, some guy was. Trying to cut your catalytic converter off, so I was just under here welding it back yeah, on I was for you. It back on here, and I didn't have a welder. I just got this saw. <laughs> uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, well, okay, I misread the question when I read it because what I have written down here: Scotty sucks big fat veiny cocks <laughs> is what I have put here. Yeah. Um, here's the thing with this is. Only because I've seen this happen when I've been really pissed off and then found out otherwise. They may be parked like that because there was somebody else who was parked like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to park like that, <laughs> but they had no other choice because the other dickhead was taking up two spots, so they had to straddle two spots. Otherwise, they would be just wasting all that space. So I'm hesitant to do anything about it, but... Uh, you know, maybe take a ball bat to their car <laughs> <laughs> or to them. Yeah. If they are in, in fact did do this. I, I don't think I could do it to somebody who's like barely taking up two spaces. I could never do it to that guy, but you know, those people that are taking up four fucking spaces because they're douchebags. And it's always like a nice car that's parked out in the middle of everywhere. And it's, or it's parked out in the middle of nowhere and it's taken up four well, spots. That, that guy, I don't mind. Fuck that guy. Oh, no. Yeah. No, fuck that. Yeah, it's at if the he's mall. parked way the fuck out somewhere? Yeah, but he's still taking up in a public place where it's busy, and he's taking up four fucking spots. Yeah, fuck well, that Well, then guy. he's not in the middle of nowhere. He's amongst cars. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, but if he's yeah. out there by himself, typically what that tells <clears> me is that's a guy who worked fucking hard for that car <laughs> and doesn't want assholes parking next to him because he wants to keep it nice. I still like to park next to that guy. Yep, I do too. Rich motherfuckers, are, that they guy. don't give a shit. They'll park amongst the great unwashed. They don't care. Yeah. Okay, next or last question. Um, 
sorry. Uh, who should host next year's Oscars? Oh, Rihanna. We know she can take a punch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. I went kind of the same route. Mike Tyson. I think he should. Okay. He holds his own. DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? What? Yeah, who's DJ Jazzy Jeff? <sighs> DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Oh, gotcha. Well, the, well, he was the DJ. Yeah. Will Smith was the rapper. Gotcha. Fresh okay. Prince was the rapper. Okay. That was the name of their first album. Okay. All He's right. the DJ, I'm the <clears throat> rapper. I, I, uh, I, I did not. <sighs> Parents just that. don't understand. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, now we get to move on what a to fucking asshole. What me? <laughs> yes, you. I know. I, I I've seen the show hundreds of times. I he just, played jazz. Yes, on. I know who who you're talking about now. God damn it! Fuck. Sorry. That was a real original name for him, by the way. Jazz. Jazz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, DJ Jazzy Jeff. Uh-huh. Apparently, Jeff. No, can't do that. <laughs> no. Oh, he's the butler. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. Jeffrey. Huh? But isn't that with a G? Yeah. G E O. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's anybody. That's somebody who needs their fucking tires flat. <laughs> Anybody who's named Jeffrey with a G? Yeah. Oh, kick that fucker's ass. He deserves it. <laughs> yep. <that's laughs> I got a buddy who'd spelled like that. That's great. <laughs> All right. Now I'm moving Fucking light on. his nose hairs with a bottle of refined. That's right. what I do to that guy. I call him Jeff Rowe Records. Right. G off. <clears throat> yeah. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is going to be the laughing on the sidelines. Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, again, secondary reminder, clear your browser history if you haven't already done that from last week's episode. Uh, I came in dead last. Um, Derek? I'm going to be honest with you. Looking up that stuff actually kind of classed up my browser history. <laughs> <laughs> Fair um, but yeah, uh, Jeremy actually won last week. I sure did. So congratulations to you. I, I'm surprised. I figured munting and the Bosnian sea Well, saw. the side pocketing. Yeah. Is what That's goddamn Everybody bullshit. knows that. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't have said anything, Derry. Uh, you know what? I, I don't was, like you uh, calling him Derry. Yeah, yeah, I don't like <laughs> that either. <laughs> Call him the wreck. I'm, yeah. You know uh, I'm what, sorry. what they did uh, talk about on uh, at that Letter Kenny Live? What's that? They discussed soaking. <laughs> oh, really? So yeah, I, yeah. We talked about this on the show. Yeah, where you just I don't stick your dick show. in someone, uh huh, and you you can't, you have, can't sex, have sex, so you just leave it in there. And then there's an, a more elaborate form where they just jump on the bed, <laughs> and then you're not actually thrusting. Okay, yeah, that's soaking. It's like right. they they brought that up. The I Amish was, people do that because yeah. it's not okay. They brought they okay. when they need to bring in fresh jizz. Yeah, that's yeah, correct. Yeah. 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 So fresh seed. <laughs> they they actually go. talked about soaking. I was like, "Holy fuck! I know what that is." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I do that. So, by j- the way, is there worse episodes of Letter Kenny than when they go to the fucking Mennonites with the shitty fucking innuendos? Yeah, their sausage fest and all that shit. Yeah, we get it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Anyways, uh, so on this week's draft, uh, we are going to draft uh, what we think are the worst jobs so if we pick your uh if we pick what you do for a living sorry uh but anyways uh i'm gonna get first pick this week jeremy you get the championship picks and Derek gets the sandwich picks um but i i think there's a serious 101 to this uh, there's a lot of people that do it um but i'm gonna go with the uh the the waitress is what I'm going to go with. Oh, the waitress. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a fucking... It that's sucks. something you could never be, Scotty. I, yeah. yeah. Or, or a lot wait, of assholes. Waiter, waiter or waitress. Server. Server. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, go just waitress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. a waiter's fucking awesome, but if you're a chick doing it, oh, that's got to suck. Yeah. They just make, to have that big old fucking vagina just flapping around in front of you. <laughs> they make better money, though. Just yeah. everywhere that they walk, just... <laughs> That's that's a good point. Those those uh, chicks at uh, Twin Peaks probably make pretty damn good money. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, you go ahead and go there, Derek. Port Porta John cleaner. Oh mm. god damn it! Yeah, that's a good one. That would be fucking terrible. Yeah. Ugh, that's gross. All right, Jeremy, you get two. Adult theater custodian. Ah, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> damn it! That's a good one. And, okay, I don't know if this one's actually funny, but I just think the job would suck so hard. 
You know the the flagman on road construction crews? Oh, oh yeah. Oh fuck. To just have to slow and stop. Y- yep. All fucking day yep. out in the heat. Yep. Sign on holder. fresh asphalt. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, Derek, get next one. I'm gonna go along the same lines here as the first one. Uh, men's room attendant. Fuck you. You just oh, gotta yeah. fucking smell people and hear people shitting <sighs> all day. Just. And if you're lucky, they give you a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for smelling my shit and squirting <laughs> my disgusting fucking hands with soap. Yeah. Here's a buck. What was that on where somebody was a bathroom attendant, but it was in a just a single-person bathroom with no stalls, just a toilet, and he just stood next to him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was, um, oh, shit. God dang it. You're talking about the movie, right? Yeah, it was in a movie. Yeah, it was um, Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. That's what his dad did. There's no way that I would have thought anything from that movie was funny. <laughs> Just saying. I have a signed copy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> I'm going to go. Son of a bitch. I'm going to go with. Can I just do retail salesperson? Okay. Everybody who works in retail, I'm sorry. Uh, but then I'm also going to go with the real one, uh, especially now. Both of those are real jobs, Scotty. Yeah, I know. Um, but I'm going to go with um, a, uh, oh, gosh, dang it, like an, like a nurse. I'm, I'm going to go with a nurse, I think, especially for right now. So I'm going to go with that one. Okay. You know, like getting puked on and stuff? No, fuck huh. that shit. I, I mean, e- EMTs have it, have it pretty rough, too. But, God, nurses, fuck, sorry. Uh, Derek. Go ahead. Mm. I'm going to go with the guy that cleans the roadkill. Is there a designated guy that does that? Yes. yes. And they generally get paid very well for it. <laughs> okay. The roadkill cleaner, is that what it's called? I, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Collector, I like Collector, yeah. Roadkill collector. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just like wash it and then put it back. <laughs> yeah. They, they have books <laughs> in their under lamination and just all their different roadkills that they've scraped up. <laughs> they, get, they get some of them signed. They get them taxidermied. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I really like the way you left his eye hanging out of its socket. <laughs> like they're Jeez. balloons. Can you just put your lips on its asshole and blow it back up? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, Jeremy, you get two. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the lost luggage person at the Ooh, airport. Gosh, yeah. damn it. That's you guys are killing me over here. Mine suck. Yeah, they do. I know. Uh, it's a lot like your hosting, really. It's Shut kind the of fuck a, up. More or less a reflection of who you are. Yeah. Um. God, and I'm gonna go also with TV weatherman. <laughs> Everybody's always pissed at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Derek. Baseball mascot. God damn it. Oh. That, when yes. it's 108 uh-huh. degrees yeah. and you're wearing that giant fucking costume just dying. I'm going to guess they didn't go with like the that NASA body cooling system right. inside those. No. There's, no. No, they don't. And there's mm. like 10 people that have sweated their ass <laughs> off in that before you. Yeah. Uh, that's, I was kind of hoping that I would get that one, but, uh, I'm going to go, um, with a public transportation driver. Okay. So like a bus driver doing that. And the other one, uh, I'm going to go, a pest control worker. Okay. Fuck bugs. And that's my last pick. I got through it. <laughs> Derek, I'm gonna go slaughterhouse worker. I could do that. That's not. That's not too. Ugh, bad. I don't know if I could. I, uh, well, where I, where I'm from, I it, it, I very it's easily could. It's the smell. Yeah, the smell sucks. And you know what the <laughs> yeah. smell? You know what the smell is? Death. No, it's curdled blood. Is yeah. what you smell. Ugh. The yeah. smell and learning Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of it's just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Jeremy, you get last pick. <clears throat> I'm going to go with uh, 
impound lot attendant. <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. Fuck, this was a lot harder. Not for us. We, I know. We did fine. I know. I mine. I I actually legitimately believe all of mine because I get treated like shit. But oh, yeah, absolutely, yours all do get treated like shit. Yeah. So you forgot podcast host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so not even gonna lie. I looked up a list of shitty jobs in America, and like number three was broadcaster. So podcaster i think it's kind of close yeah. Enough. yeah yeah a broadcaster is a female pro- podcaster yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fair yeah a lot of people don't realize that uh you know like your national broadcasters and stuff make mm-hmm. a lot of money yeah uh your anchors and you know high level reporters in big markets do but most broadcasters work in smaller market and 30, 40,000 yeah tops yeah you can just call them broads for short sure yeah, yeah. yeah exactly they like that yeah all right. That's why they don't make as much them broads. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, that is our draft for this week. Uh, I will have the uh, the draft up on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines where you can vote for the best list of the jobs that you think are the absolute worst. Um, and vote by uh, clicking on the corresponding emoji. That will dictate who uh, picks uh, the championship picks next week. That's uh, That's the only prize you get. Uh, but now moving on to my it's actually you know because it's a high profile job but i actually know he's the only one in town as mm-hmm. far as i know but what might be the shittiest job in the world to have yeah i i know a guy uh he is a pediatric oncologist oh fuck yeah that's a good so one. he's only got to deal with children with cancer fuck that. that's awesome <laughs> that's, yeah that's, that's fucking sure. awful that's uh, no. That's yeah, you lose a lot of those fights, I think. Yeah, and the thing is, is it, like I was thinking, I didn't even think along those lines, but that's a bad one. But just like somebody that works in the morgue and stuff, I just I couldn't be around and that. Then Balmer, that'd be yeah. a bad one. Oh fuck that! Yeah, but goddamn, they make a fuck ton of money. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't pick them because I saw that they actually do. Undertakers make. make- well in the, oh, the and their WWE champions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, they've, yeah, they don't even, they never lose at WrestleMania. One time, one time, one time they that's did. It. Why did they do that? Because they're assholes, and it's fucking that Vince was, McMahon. Fuck, that I heard was awful. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Triple H retired from the WWE. I saw. Okay. I didn't even know he was fucking still around. I didn't know around. you could retire. I thought you just went away. Yeah, and, <laughs> and until WrestleMania, when they start bringing you out again. All right. But anyways, guys, that is our draft. Uh, Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, you know, we all like to have fun, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We like to go to amusement parks. Derek was just at one. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, we all like to ride roller coasters. Well, I can tell you who didn't like riding roller coasters. People who went to the Krug Amusement Park in Omaha, Nebraska on July 24th, 1930. Oh, my God. I got season passes to that place. <laughs> well, I think things have, have really... Uh, not not to this place. Not if you're wanting to ride roller coasters. And I'll tell you why. Um yeah, uh, basically, people went on the uh, Big Dipper roller coaster, they called it. They were having themselves a grand old time. Four cars full of children and teenagers. When all of a sudden a bolt came loose, derailing all four cars, they fell 19 feet, killing four people and severely injuring 17 more. Oh, God. And now your child, and, and, and because of that, yeah. They passed a law banning roller coasters in Omaha. <laughs> That's how you deal with that. You don't up your safety regulations. You just ban the fucking roller coasters all together. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, don't get sent back to Omaha. <laughs> I want my money back for that season pass. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, you sure. didn't realize about the roller coasters? No. 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 All right, this week's laughing. What on the a s- name for a mu- an amusement park, by the way. Yeah, Krug, <laughs> K R U G. Oh, it's got to be Krug. It doesn't have to be. It's got to be. No, it don't, doesn't. Let's don't. fucking call him. Yeah, you call him. I do. <laughs> okay. Hey Siri, <laughs> call Krug Amusement Park. 
I don't think it's going to pull anything up. <laughs> really? Oh, really? <laughs> they got the number for Joyland. <laughs> <laughs> A Wichita amusement park that has been closed for 20 years. Joyland Amusement Park on South Hillside Street is permanently closed. Permanently closed. Is that the one you're looking for? Yeah. Yes, yes, call it. Joyland Amusement Park on South Hillside Street is permanently closed. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I can't go. I think I think what I think Krug put him out of business. Yeah, Probably. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. I don't know. Joyland had way more roller coasters. Yeah. Thanks yeah, to that fucking bill. But yep. Krug had the atmosphere. Yeah. It sure did. <laughs> Their haunted house was amazing. I yeah. mean, you think of Krug, you think of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Joyland really doesn't spark fun to me. No. no. But no. Krug. Krug, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, this week's... Uh, <laughs> now it's your new t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. See, so you can find one. Can do. Okay. <laughs> Leave me out of the rest of the show. <laughs> All right. I spent my summer vacation at Krug. <laughs> All right. On this week's shitty situation is, would you rather <laughs> go to a fucking amusement park named Krug? No, would you rather always have to park taking up two spots in a compact car everywhere you went, or... Cut the power with five seconds left in the national championship game of March Madness as the bartender. I've done both of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've done both of those. I have not taken up two spaces. Uh, I would cut the power. Really? Yeah, just because I I can at least see myself pissing people off. Yeah, I know you can. Where And I like doing that. Rather than if I was just driving and just be like, well, these guys are going to be mad <laughs> and I don't want my fucking tires slashed. Yeah, that's true. So I would much rather cut the power off because pissing people off is kind of my forte. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And not a Kia forte, which is a compact car. Right. Yeah. Um, I, actually, I'm going to do the two spots. Um, first thing is, is that if you cut the power and everybody's watching the game in a bar, chances are these are drunk people. Yeah, but if it's KU... Fucking wonderful. Okay, if it's KU, I, I may be in on it. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing I can do, I'm going to be walking a long ways away to be able to go to the stores that I want to go to, but I will find like an, just a complete vacant lot, and I don't care if I have to walk a mile. I'll do that. So I'm going to park in two spots with a compact car. i got to drive a fucking compact car, too. That sucks. Jeremy? I can't find any T-shirts. <laughs> I mean, I can find T-shirts, but not, <laughs> not for the Krug Amusement Park. Ah, uh, man. Uh, this is seriously the worst day of my fucking life. You can't spell fun without Krug. If, nope. you're, if you're listening to the podcast and, don't, and aren't watching it, he does have his straight out of Otis T-shirt. I sure now. do. Yeah, he does. Elevate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> is that why Outcast is your favorite rap group? It sure is. Yeah. It's to sing elevators. Yeah. Can't believe that. No, but they do. They sing elevators. Oh, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not why. Yeah. They're just fucking awesome. Yeah. But how about you, Jeremy? Would you rather have to park in two spots with a compact car everywhere you went or cut the power at, uh, at a bar with five seconds left to go in the game? Oh, I'm going to park the car in two spots. <laughs> that will get you yelled at. It will get people fucking with your car. The other one can get you killed. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm I mean, the only one that likes to have fun around here. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. I, I don't even think it's close. Listen, I like to live on the edge. I'll go to Krug. <laughs> I'll, I'll ride all the fucking rides. <laughs> if I can find the fucking T-shirt. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode for the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Um, anybody got any shows, Derek? You got any shows coming up? No. Not yet? No. Okay. Not surprised. Um, yeah, the way I did on this show this week, definitely <laughs> not surprised. Hey, man. It's, it's what it is. Uh, but anyways, uh, guys, thank Can you guys. Can we start doing these in the afternoon? I'd be a lot more awake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you guys so very much for doing what you're doing. Thank you, all the new listeners, uh, helping us grow. Fuck um, you, new listeners. <laughs> you yeah. should have been here the whole no time. Where the Suck fuck it. were you at? Yeah. 
God. I don't even have a fucking lawnmower yet. Yeah. But in all seriousness, uh, if... Go to um, Krug. Filthy fucking people. Yeah. But keep on doing what you're doing. You know, listening and sharing the episodes. That's uh, that's what helps us out a lot. So thank you so much for doing that. And as uh, we always like to say, guys, do us a favor if you like us and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope someone's shitting for distance and you get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> If you don't like it, tell your enemies. And until next time, you're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>